Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. American Comics. Let you fish, you get a Superman template at the beginning. Chapter 1. Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters is a school like no other. Most people may not know this name, but when it comes to Mutant Academy, many people may have heard of it. Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters is the official name of Mutant College. It was also created by X-Men to educate mutant teenagers and provide refuge for mutant teenagers. Many juvenile mutants live here. However, as a member of the Academy, Shu Fu was not happy. Who made him travel to the Marvel world? In this world, anything unreasonable can happen. Not to mention that the Earth exploded, the world has restarted several times. Ordinary people come to this place, that is the beginning of hell. It's really unlucky, why did I come to this world? Can it be better? Even after being in this world for a long time, Shu Fu is still a bit hard to accept. He was also a civil servant in his previous life. He made tea every day and read newspapers. He was very leisurely. Unlike those poor social animals, his job is so easy, basically equivalent to having nothing to do, although the salary is not high, but he is also happy to be content. My usual hobbies are looking at young ladies on my mobile phone and fishing. How did he come into this world? They come, the security. Fortunately, I'm still in Mutant Academy, so I'm still very safe for the time being. Unless there is a major incident, there should be no problem with saving your life. Shu Fu couldn't help comforting himself in his heart. Although Mutant is hostile by others, and Mutant Academy can be said to be full of disasters, but most of the time in the world, Mutant Academy is still very peaceful. Compared with other places, it is safer here. With the presence of X-Men, he can avoid many dangers. You can stay here with confidence. Looking up at the sky, it was still early. He didn't show any hesitation, he turned his head and took his little Maza in the room, and walked towards the back of Mutant Academy. For ordinary children, Mutant Academy is no different from ordinary schools. In addition to learning to control their abilities, most of the time, students learn cultural knowledge like ordinary students. But well, he had learned it once in the original world, and he didn't want to suffer this kind of ordeal. He ran out directly. Professor X is really rich, buying such a large piece of land. This lake must be full of big wild animals. The Air Force yesterday must have been an accident. While walking, Shu Fu was still analyzing and comforting himself. The so-called, Air Force, is a common phrase used by fishermen, which means that they will not return empty-handed. It is said in the news that foreigners don't like to eat freshwater fish very much, and the fish in this lake may be fine. As an experienced fisherman, it is absolutely impossible for the Air Force. With full confidence, carrying his own equipment and fishing rod, he arrived at a lake near the back of the college with ease. Professor X looks very shabby in the movie, but in fact the family is very rich. Including the large piece of land near Mutant College, it is actually the private property of Professor X, which is far more than a simple castle. There is also a large lake nearby, which makes Shu Fu very proud. With his tools, he came near the lake. It must be that the feng shui here is not good, which has affected my luck. Come to another place today. Shu Fu pondered for a while, and directly changed the place to put down the equipment. He sat in that crappy place for a whole day yesterday, if he hadn't picked a few wild fruits when he left, he would definitely be in the Air Force. Never make the same mistake. As the saying goes, fishing does not make nests, and there are not many catches. As a professional fisherman, Shu Fu naturally couldn't make this kind of mistake. He mixed the bait, wine and rice well, and made a nest directly. He took out the 7 meter long vix he bought through the portal, and started fishing with all his heart. One minute, ten minutes, one hour, three hours. Almost half a day passed, Shu Fu was so hungry that he was growling, but he didn't even catch a fish, let alone a fish. It's not right, this shouldn't be, Shu Fu was a little confused. Is this necessarily my technical problem? Could it be that there are no fish in this lake? Shu Fu couldn't help but think in his heart. But before he finished thinking, he saw a big rainbow trout swimming leisurely from less than one meter in front of him. He even suspected that if he used the copy net to copy it, it would be copied directly. Shu Fu's mentality almost collapsed at that time. I am fishing. Be respectful. Just when Shu Fu was about to curse, 
he suddenly felt a movement in his hand, and the fishing rod actually moved. Shu Fu was overjoyed. Reach out and grab the fishing rod, and start wrestling with things in the water. It's a lot of strength, and it's still a big guy. Big Crucian Carp, or Rainbow Trout, Shu Fu's eyes were shining, and the veins on his face were bulging. He tried his best and gave it a hard pick. A group of fish with golden light was caught by him from the water. My Sao. Before he had time to be surprised, the light seemed to come alive, directly crashing into his body. Ding. Fishing system activated. The fishing system is successfully bound. Fishing guys will never fly. With a sound, a stream of information entered his mind. Shu Fu's face suddenly became very strange. He actually activated the system. As the name suggests, this is a system exclusively for anglers, designed to make anglers never fly. As we all know, fishermen can catch everything except fish. It's the same with this system. In addition to not being able to catch fish, all kinds of weird things can be caught. As long as these things are within his understanding, they may become items he fished out. Things like Infinity Gauntlet, Magic, Infinite Gems, Phoenix Force, etc. are all possible. These things are all in the form of various fish, divided into five grades of white, blue, purple, red and gold, with white being the worst and gold being the best. Not only that, as long as he fishes in the refreshed fish pond, the system can make him stronger, and if he can catch something, it can also make his previous strength stronger. Shu Fu immediately took a deep breath. This system is really a bit overbearing. It's like sitting on a horse and fishing alone for thousands of years. But what was it that I caught before? Shu Fu opened his system panel with excitement. Host. Shu Fu. Age. 17. Strength. Tier 1. Physique. 20. Spirit. 15. Energy. 10. Fish Pond. Artificial Lake. Item. Vix Fishing Rod. Skill. Body of Superman, Bronze Stage. Superman's Body. A body that inherits the power of Bronze Age Superman, with infinite possibilities. Seeing this, Chen Emu's pale face became extremely excited. To catch this kind of ability. The body of Superman. Isn't this invincible? Superman is a very special existence in the 600th world. It can even be said that he is the absolute son of destiny, a character at the protagonist level. In fact, strength is also very complicated, roughly divided into several periods. Bronze period, New 52 period, Silver period, V4 period, Golden Superman period. However, because the 600th world is very complicated, various timelines are mixed, and there are various world restart phenomena. Most people divide Superman's strength into three stages, Bronze period, Silver period, and Golden Superman period. Among them, the Bronze Age is the ordinary Superman, the power of the peak period, which can move mountains and fill the sea, and has the power of a million tons. By the time of the Silver Age, it had already begun to be extraordinary, not like a mortal creature. When it was the strongest, a sneeze would destroy the solar system and blow out the sun, and a person pulling a dozen planets to exercise his body was simply not human. And Dachau in the Golden Age is already an incredible existence, and it is definitely not an exaggeration to call him a god. He transcends time and space, masters the five-dimensional ability, and easily destroys the entire multi-universe with one punch. In the Marvel world, I am afraid that it is stronger than the existence of the five gods, the absolute god of the world. But now, with the system, he already has the possibility to master this incredible power. As long as he is constantly basking in the sun, he can continue to grow stronger, and it is not impossible to bathe in the sun and fish. Thinking of this, Shu Fu's saliva almost flowed out with excitement. This system is too strong. This Superman ability is too high. But at the beginning, Superman ability was not very strong. Shu Fu felt his own strength and muttered to himself. When Superman first appeared on Earth, the ability was not strong, that is, the physical fitness was stronger, which was equivalent to a Superman class. His flight, laser rays, freezing breath and other powerful abilities were all slowly mastered after irradiating the sun and absorbing the power of the sun. In fact, Shu Fu felt that Superman did not absorb the energy of the sun, but the power of the sun was more like a catalyst that inspired the power of Superman originally. After all, the sun is not special compared to the vast universe, and its volume is not too large. 
The largest known fixed star Stevenson 2 to 18 is 10 billion times the size of the Sun. Superman can easily destroy a fixed star of this level, but he can't do it even if he sucks up the Sun's energy. Superman's physique is originally strong. Whether it is Marvel or DC, this is the most powerful and ultimate power, and it is now in his hands. Shu Fu was triumphant, taking advantage of this opportunity, make another shot, maybe there will be a better reward. Without further ado, Shu Fu just flicked the fishing rod. The fishing rod was thrown directly into the pond by him. Shu Fu, at this moment, a sullen voice came from behind him. As soon as Shu Fu turned his head, he saw a woman with white hair and a good figure standing behind him, with an angry face. Teacher Orlo, why are you here? Shu Fu asked with a sneer. This woman is none other than the teacher of the Mutant Academy and the X-Men's Vice Captain, Storm Orlo. Is a fairly powerful mutant. In the entire Mutant Academy, apart from Professor X and Chin, she has the most powerful combat power, the controller has the ability to control the weather, and she has good magic. In terms of strength, she is a little worse than Thor's. In Xavier's school, she is also a well-respected teacher, responsible for leading many students. But she didn't go to lectures, what did she come to him for? Are all the teachers so busy now? Why am I here? Storm laughed angrily. The other mutant students were all in class, but Shu Fu ran out to fish by himself. Also asked her why. This kid really has no self-knowledge. Why don't you go to class? Go out to fish. It's just playing around. Orlo said angrily. Shu Fu knew it clearly when he heard this. The establishment of Mutant Academy is to protect mutant children and give them the same education as ordinary people. I hope that they can live a normal life after leaving the academy, at least they have a skill, so that they will not have a way out. In terms of education, even the Mutant Brotherhood led by Magneto didn't say much, and gave Mutant Academy a lot of financial support. Therefore, Mutant Academy does not practice happiness education like the ordinary Beautiful Country Academy, and there are many courses. Only, Shu Fu has traveled through time, how could he go to class? He already has Superman's ability, what else is there to learn? Learn, learn ass, learn where to fish comfortably. Teacher Orlo, I think learning is just a way to understand the world and improve myself. I can also understand the world here. There is absolutely no need to go to the classroom to study. Shu Fu said, you still dare to quibble. Go back with me obediently, and make up for me what you left behind. In the entire academy, you are the only one who keeps skipping classes. Storm glared at Shu Fu. As soon as she stretched out her hand, a strong gust of wind emerged out of nowhere, wanting to grab Shu Fu into her hand. This is Storm's ability, an extraordinary power that cannot be explained at all. Only, the strong wind blew up, and the grass on the ground fell down, and a huge force acted on Shu Fu's body. If it was Shu Fu who had no power before, he might have been taken away by magical power at this moment. His body was just that of a teenager, very thin and unable to resist Storm's divine power. Now that he's got the body of Superman, it's different. His strength, speed, physique, etc. have been greatly enhanced, and his weight has increased a lot. Storm's power acted on him like a spring breeze, and it couldn't shake him at all. Um, a look of surprise flashed in Storm's eyes. Her power doesn't work against Shu Fu. Ordinary people should not be able to resist this powerful force, and this kid should be directly lifted into her hands. The kid blocked it. Are you awakening? Storm's eyes widened, a look of surprise on his face. Mutant's ability is actually a very metaphysical thing. Some mutants are born with their own abilities, and some mutants can't stimulate their own X genes until they die. However, more mutants are awakening when they are teenagers. Generally, after intense emotional stimulation, mutants will awakening their own ability. Shu Fu was unremarkable in Mutant Academy before, because Professor X confirmed that he was a mutant, but he didn't show any ability, just studying in Xavier's school. Did not expect. Quietly, this kid was awakening. Moreover, awakening has this kind of power, which can resist his power. This actually surprised Storm a bit. In the deepest part of Mutant Academy, there is a powerful device. This is a powerful device designed by Beast Hank, jointly produced by Professor X and Magneto, a brainwave amplifier, also known as a psychic oscillator. 
With this device, Professor X's ability can exert incredible power and spread to the entire planet. Relying on the brain wave amplifier, Professor X can instantly kill everyone on the Earth if he wants to, no different from a human-shaped nuclear weapon. Shu Fu is the mutant that Professor X found out by relying on the brainwave amplifier and was then connected to Xavier's school. It's just that after entering, Shu Fu has never been awakening, so he seems very ordinary. It can be said to be unknown. Now this child has already awakened, and it seems that awakening's ability is not weak. This made Storm couldn't help feeling a little bit emotional and looking forward to it. You know, among their academy, there are very few mutants with outstanding abilities. The appearance of Shu Fu really surprised them. Shu Fu, you are actually awakening, what awakening ability? Looks like some kind of physical ability. Storm walked over to Chen Mu and observed carefully. I don't know, even if you ask, then I won't stop you. I have felt a big change in my power in the past two days. I came here only two days ago, fishing to control my power. Shu Fu said very calmly. So that's the case, no wonder you were like this. Suddenly, Storm realized, although Shu Fu was loose before, he was not the same as he is now. He went fishing instead of studying. It turned out to be to master his own power. But soon, she shook her head again. You should have told us. After awakening, you should be well instructed to maximize your ability. You are irresponsible to yourself if you keep it from us. Storm said very seriously. Yes, teacher, I understand. Shu Fu's face showed three points of shame, three points of hope, and four points of indifference. It was a complicated expression. After seeing the Oscar for acting, he shook his head. Storm looked at Shu Fu's understanding, and spoke again. Looks like you're some kind of awakening. If something strange happens to your body, it's normal and you don't have to panic. Like Mr. Hank, that's what happened. If it does happen, you have to be mentally prepared in advance. Storm said seriously, humans are social animals. Most people cannot survive after being separated from human society, they will feel lonely and helpless, and their spirits will collapse. Why is mutant in such a difficult situation? It is because they have inexplicable changes compared to ordinary people, which makes them ostracized. Those mutants who noticed changes in their appearance were even targeted and stared at. Storm is saying hello in advance. Shu Fu naturally knew that his ability came from the body of Superman, not some kind of mutant power. But facing Storm's earnest teaching, he could only nod. You have just awakening, which is the period when your physical fitness improves the fastest. You must ensure adequate nutrition. When the time comes, let the professor design a set of recipes for you. Storm is worthy of being a good teacher, he explained to Shu Fu in great detail. If Shu Fu is really a mutant, it would really come in handy. Pity, his power does not come from the X gene, so these words are of course useless. Okay, that's all the relevant knowledge. There is only one last thing left, which is to test you. We will start adaptive training for you when the time comes to enhance your control over ability. Come with me, let's test your strength, speed, and physical fitness. Storm said something, turned and left. Shu Fu's eyes lit up, he also wanted to see how strong the original Superman was. Bronze Age Superman is the weakest among Superman, but among humans, that is definitely worthy of the name Superman. Whether it's strength, speed and combat ability, they are all extraordinary. Now he wants to see how far he can go. Following Storm, Shu Fu came to the training ground of Mutant Academy. Thanks to Beast Hank, a highly intelligent mutant, the equipment of Mutant Academy is very advanced. Through these advanced equipment, students of Mutant Academy can conduct detailed tests on their own ability and mutant ability. Seeing these complicated tests, Shu Fu was a little bit eager to fight. Come on, Shu Fu will try the simplest power first. Bench press, squat, punching. Test these three items first, and you will probably be able to test your physical fitness. In our school, the one with the strongest record is Hank. Let's see how long you can catch up with him. Storm said with a smile. Shu Fu nodded but did not speak. Beast Hank is amazing for ordinary people or ordinary mutants, but for the body of Superman, it is nothing. Sure enough, Shu Fu began to test his strength around directly by Storm's pointing. Bench press 2.8 tons, squat 12 tons, 100 meters 3 seconds 5. 
Looking at the data reflected on the equipment in front of him, a flash of shock flashed in Storm's eyes, and his first reaction was that the equipment was broken. Without him, this data is too astonishing. Even for a mutant, this data is too abnormal. You know, the world boxing champion Tyson is considered the top of mankind. His bench press is only more than 100 kilograms, and his squat strength is more than 400 kilograms. Shu Fu's data is more than 20 times that of Tyson. Even Beast, who is physically the strongest among them, displays only one-fifth of Shu Fu's strength. The mutant with such terrifying data is probably only a monster like Juggernaut. But Shu Fu is just a child who just made up his mind. A feeling of shock emerged in Storm's heart, and he felt a little disbelief at the strength Shu Fu displayed. This kid is too strong. Although he was a little shocked in his heart, Storm remained calm on the surface. Not bad, your potential, even among many students, is the strongest. Come and test your punching power for the last time. Storm spoke, Shu Fu showed no hesitation, and stood in front of the machine smugly. He knew that Superman's body was very strong, but he didn't expect that Superman's body was so strong. Just at the beginning, it has such a powerful force, such an amazing speed. Horrible. With confidence, Shu Fu directly used all his strength and punched the machine in front of him. Boom, a huge amount of voice sounded. Shu Fu punched directly through the leather test mat on the surface of the test equipment, directly piercing the thing. Even the steel on the test equipment was directly bent, leaving a fist mark on it. Storm's eyes widened suddenly. This is a device that can withstand an attack of up to 20 tons. Not to mention people, even if a big truck hits it, it won't be so completely destroyed. This kid, seeing Storm staring at him, Shu Fu had a smirk on his face. Teacher, I won't let me pay for this thing, right? Storm shook his head stiffly. When Shu Fu was doing a test in the test field, the other mutant students are in class. In fact, in the entire mutant academy, there are not many mutant students, including teachers, there are less than 200 people. Definitely there are definitely more than so many mutants in the world. It's just that there are many white people who will not send their children to school, or send them to other schools, and there are many complicated reasons. This makes the number of students here not so large. Therefore, the place where everyone gathered was not far from the place where Shu Fu was tested. In addition, since Mutant Academy is actually a large manor, Shu Fu didn't just destroy a piece of equipment all of a sudden. Boom, the entire Mutant Academy building shook. What? Earthquake. Let's run. Mutant Shu Shengmin panicked. Although they have mastered various abilities, they are just a bunch of kids. Faced with this situation, they were naturally a little panicked. Hey, just be quiet. Earthquakes don't happen here. Wolverine slapped the table and spoke loudly. As a rough man, being able to teach this group of students is already difficult, and it is really impossible for Wolverine to let him comfort the students. Fortunately, maybe he has always been very intimidating, his words are very effective, and the students are quiet. You guys just stay there for me, I'll go and see what happened. Wolverine Logan glanced at the group of students below her and said, after walking out the door, he took a long breath, took out a cigar and lit it for himself. Call, Wolverine let out a relieved breath. Looking up, I saw Professor X walking over from the depths of the college in a wheelchair. Charles, what happened? Isn't there something wrong with the college's energy system? Wolverine asked. In order to supply the brainwave amplifier, there is a powerful function system under the Mutant Academy. Once it explodes, it will be even more powerful than a bomb. The famous scene of Quicksilver rescuing people was caused by the explosion of the college's underground reactor. Wolverine was afraid that there was something wrong with the reactor below the academy. Definitely not so. Just a kid doing a test. Charles shook his head with a smile, with a very gentle expression on his face, as if he was an old man leading a home. Wong Defa, a student test. Can a student test make such a big difference? Where is this student from? Logan spoke with a smoke ring. What kind of test is this that can cause such a big movement? The whole academy has a perception. The whole mutant academy, who can do it? He didn't feel that someone used the strange ability at all. This student is amazing. Charles had a mysterious smile on his face. The power of Professor X is so powerful that its psychic ability can easily cover the entire mutant academy. 
what happened in the training ground, through the unique ability, he already understood clearly. He was also quite surprised by Shu Fu's performance. However, through telepathy, it is naturally not as intuitive as the naked eye. Let's go, Logan. Push me to see the new talent in our school. For us, that might be a good thing. Charles spoke. Things aren't looking good for the X-Men. In order to maintain the full strength of mutant, their X-Men need to work harder, and there must be no flaws. They needed more strength to maintain their status. Charles was naturally very relieved to see a new seedling. Naturally, Logan didn't know what was going on in Charles's mind, so he stuffed the cigar in his mouth and reluctantly pushed Charles towards the training ground. Genius, Charles, I think you are exaggerating too much, which of us is not a genius? If this can also be called an ability. A hint of sarcasm formed the corner of Logan's mouth. Ordinary people think that longevity is beautiful, but for him who has lived for nearly 200 years, longevity is just a kind of torture. It is mutant's ability that determines his tragic life. If he had a choice, he would rather not awakening his own ability. Hearing Logan's words, Charles was silent for a moment. Maybe it's not an ability, but it's a power and it's good for us. Then we can only think of it as an ability. Logan learns to accept his own power. Charles persuaded in a gentle voice. Logan didn't care, and pushed Charles into the training ground. As soon as he entered, he saw the damaged force measuring machine. This machine is like being run over by a big truck, it's about to be turned into pieces. Alalo, what happened? Your ability is out of control. The cigar in Logan's mouth almost fell out. This scene is the same as the battlefield of World War II. What's the situation? It's not me. It's this kid. It seems that there is another child with abilities among us. Orlo looked at Shu Fu with admiration in her eyes. Logan looked at Shu Fu's eyes, but was a little surprised. This kind of destruction was actually caused by this child. Are today's young people so brave? This kind of combat power, even he can't bear it, right? Compared to the surprised Logan, Charles was much calmer. As the leader of the mutant faction, he has seen many quite powerful mutants, Apocalypse, Magneto, Chin. Compared with these existences that can even destroy the Earth, Shufu's current performance is not that amazing. However, it has amazing potential. Son, your ability ranks among the top among all the mutants I've seen. It's a gift from God and you learn to accept it. But what you need now is to learn to control it, not be controlled by this power. Charles's eyes were very gentle, with a profound feeling of seeing through everything. Shu Fu felt that everything in his heart seemed to be seen through. I understand, Charles. Shu Fu nodded obediently. In front of this powerful mutant, Shu Fu still has to maintain due respect. Charles nodded with a smile. He treats every child of Mutant Academy equally. However, if the ability is good, it will naturally get more attention. Your power is great, but if you don't control it, you will only bring danger to yourself and those around you. In addition to learning, you follow Logan to learn some fighting skills and learn to control your own power. Charles smiled and made his decision. The smile on Shu Fu's face suddenly froze. He doesn't want to study. With the body of Superman, you can become stronger while lying down. Studying with Wolverine for half a year, why not bask in the sun for a while? Study, learn a fart, or look for a chance to go fishing. Mutant Academy is not big. Even counting the accommodation for the students, the area is only the file size of a small middle school. In this kind of place, news always travels very fast. Not half a day's work. The news of Shu Fu awakening spread throughout the academy. Walking on the road, Shu Fu felt that he was being pointed at all the time. This was something that didn't exist at all before. Before Shu Fu was in this academy, he was simply a little transparent. Mutant is a race that is discriminated against by others outside, but there is also a faint chain of discrimination in the academy. I have to say, this is very ironic. Now awakening ability, still such a powerful ability, Shu Fu suddenly became popular among the crowd. Westerners and Easterners have very different natures. They don't care about a person's morality, but they care about a person's strength. As long as you are strong enough, they respect you. Shu Fu's ability to destroy the test machine is enough to show his powerful ability. Even Colossus in his youth may not be his opponent, so everyone is naturally very curious about him. Only, Shu Fu is an adult, 
how could he be interested in these kids? He would rather communicate with members of the X-Men than talk to this bunch of brats, who really have too many things to do. Under such circumstances, Shu Fu naturally appeared very cold. But, his aloof appearance, coupled with his good looks, made these little kids think he was cool. When get out of class is over, I always want to talk to him. And he was thinking about how to sneak out of the academy to go fishing. For him, the courses inside the academy are really a little difficult, even when he is an ordinary person without a Superman body. He doesn't pay attention to these contents. Not to mention, with the body of Superman, his thinking has been strengthened to a certain extent, and his reactions are faster. It is even more contemptuous of these contents. After observing for half a morning, seeing how the X-Men teach their profession, going back and forth with the children, Shu Fu decisively slipped away. Carrying his own fishing rod, he ran out of the academy at an astonishing speed. As we all know, Superman is basically a hexagon fighter except for a little lower magic resistance. Whether it is strength, speed, or reaction ability, they are far beyond ordinary people, and Dachau can even compete with the Flash Barry in speed. He walked faster than before, and in just a few seconds, he crossed a distance of several hundred meters and came to the small lake where he was fishing. As soon as the Maza was released, Shu Fu started fishing. Ding! Daily sign in completed, physique plus three. As soon as Shu Fu threw the fishing rod out, he felt a warm current flowing through his whole body, and his physical fitness was unknowingly strengthened. At the same time, he could feel that the sun was constantly falling on his body, which was very warm and comfortable. His body also began to transform towards a perfect figure. Originally, although Shu Fu was not short, he looked very thin, like a stick. It was different now, the muscles on his body became bulging. Through the tight clothes, you can even see the lines of the muscles, which looks a bit like Superman. This is Superman's body, which constantly absorbs the energy of the sun, strengthens itself, and stores energy in its cells. This feeling is very comfortable. Obviously concentrating on fishing, Shu Fu felt like he was about to fall asleep. Tisk tisk, is Superman's body so cool? No wonder Dachau, it's really comfortable to sleep and take a bath in the sun. Shu Fu was amazed in his heart. Being able to get stronger and still be so comfortable, Superman is worthy of being the son of destiny. Now he can also enjoy the treatment of the son of destiny. System panel. Shu Fu called out in his heart, and the system panel appeared directly in his retina. Host. Shu Fu. Age. 17. Strength. Tier 1. Physique. 24. Spirit. 16. Energy. 11. Fish pond. Artificial lake. Item. Vix fishing rod. Skill. Body of Superman, bronze stage. Shu Fu's eyes were fixed. Is it so useful to bask in the sun? The attributes have changed visibly with the naked eye. In addition to the system's rewards, he actually added one point to all three attributes. What else to say? There is nothing to learn, just go out and bask in the sun every day. And with Aurora here, he doesn't have to worry about cloudy or rainy days. Perfect. So perfect. When Shu Fu was excited, his fishing rod swung, and there was a sudden movement in his hand. Shu Fu immediately came to his senses, his eyes were full of anticipation. Holding poles in both hands, Shu Fu wrestled with things in the water. It stands to reason that with his strength, even if there is a car in the water, he can lift it up. But the fishing rod really couldn't bear his strength, so he could only be careful, for fear that the fishing rod would break and the fish would fall off the hook. Crash. After several minutes of his hard work, he fished out a swimming fish emitting white light from the lake. There was a bit of disappointment in Shu Fu's eyes, but he still quickly grabbed the white light ball that seemed to be jumping wildly like a living thing. As soon as he grabbed it, the thing turned into a stream of light and entered his hands. X Gene Inhibitor. This is obviously not just an item. Looking at the firearm made of carbon fiber that emerged in the system, there was a transparent bullet next to it, and there was some kind of mysterious liquid in it. Shu Fu was amazed. This is exactly the gun developed by Angel's father in the X-Men to deal with mutant. Inside is a potion that can temporarily suppress mutant ability. For mutant, this thing is better than infinite gems. With mutant's ability, it's not difficult to fight against infinite gems. If you get stabbed by this thing, you will lose the X-Gene ability within a few years. Very strong. 
This system really can catch everything except fish. Shu Fu shook his head and threw his fishing rod out again. When he caught an item just now, Shu Fu just swung his club subconsciously and didn't feel that he could catch anything. But not long after, the fishing rod in his hand responded again. Good luck today. Shu Fu's eyes lit up and he was overjoyed. After a fight, Shu Fu raised the pole directly. A blue fish was caught by him from the pond. Purple, Shu Fu was overjoyed, and directly grabbed the purple light cluster. Joker Thinking Network, Joker Thinking Network. Ability to replicate Joker's IQ and thinking, with him you have a Joker's brain. Shu Fu's eyes lit up again. This ability is amazing. In the DC universe, if you want to say who has the highest IQ, then Luther, Superman, etc., can all be among the best. After all, the ability and hardware are there. But if you want to say who is the strongest when it comes to scheming people's hearts, then Joker is simply no one else. Even the gods in the DC universe may not have a Joker who can calculate. This ability may not be able to make him have an amazing scientific research ability like Iron Man, but it can make him not be counted by anyone. Absolutely powerful. Superman with Joker brains. Real. Superman class. Shu Fu's life at the academy was very peaceful. Apart from eating and sleeping every day, he sneaks out to fish. Unfortunately, maybe a few days ago, he ran out of luck in two fishing streaks, and he hasn't shipped anything these days. But, signing in and basking in the sun every day also gave him a lot of gains. The three attributes have a good enhancement. Host, Shu Fu. Age, 17. Strength, Tier 1. Physique, 30. Spirit. 23. Energy. 25. Fish Pond. Artificial Lake. Item. Vix Fishing Rod. High Quality Fishing Rod. X Gene Inhibitor. Skills. Body of Superman. Bronze Stage. Joker Thinking Network. In the past few days, his physique has directly broken through 30, and the changes have been astonishing. The power of a punch can reach about 40 tons. How much does a heavy truck weigh? Now Shu Fu can smash a heavy truck with one punch. Ordinary people would be blown away by his terrifying power if they were punched by him. Not human at all. And as he absorbed the power of the sun, the energy in his body became much stronger. Shu Fu felt that it might not take long before he could master all kinds of powerful abilities of Superman. Superman is more than just physically strong. There are also a lot of outrageous abilities. If you can really master all of them, it will definitely not be weaker than mutant's ability. With a happy mood, Shu Fu returned to the academy. As soon as he entered the door, he was caught by Wolverine who had been waiting for a long time. You should know, you should learn fighting skills from me, right? Wolverine was smoking a cigar, looked at Shu Fu and said. Shu Fu looked at Wolverine who suddenly appeared and laughed. Ahem, Mr. Logan, I forgot. Logan is the oldest person in the entire mutant academy, and the most combat experienced person. This person, who was born nearly a hundred years ago, has honed incomparably rich fighting skills in his life of more than one hundred years. It can be said, all his life he had been in battle. At the same strength level, Superman will only be beaten by Wolverine. In fact, at the same level of strength, almost a person with combat skills can hang Superman. After losing ability, Superman was almost killed by Batman, which shows the weakness of Superman's fighting level. He was obviously a god on Earth, but he was killed by the Doomsday. It can only be said that Superman's fighting skills are really appalling, and the fights are all based on his physical strength. It's okay to meet weak enemies, but when you meet stronger enemies, you can only be beaten unilaterally. In this respect, it is really important to learn fighting skills from Wolverine. Only, the price-performance ratio is too low. He went fishing and his strength grew faster. Naturally, Shu Fu didn't want to waste time in the academy with Wolverine. However, people came to him now, and it was for his own good. Naturally, Shu Fu couldn't pretend that he didn't see anything. People who do this have no friends. Mr. Logan, this is my fault. I can learn to fight with you, but can we change places? Like putting it on the lawn behind the academy. Otherwise, I'm afraid that the destructive power will be too strong, and Professor X may cause a lot of headaches. Shu Fu suggested very sincerely. Logan wanted to refuse, but suddenly thought of the force measuring machine that Shu Fu easily dismantled into scrap iron in the testing field. Ah, can, 
Since Charles said it, I will teach you well. However, my teaching method is a bit rough. You'd better be prepared. Logan had a word of caution. Do not worry, Shu Fu answered obediently. Looking at his appearance, it is completely impossible to tell that he is a student who skips class every day. He replied with confidence, the body of Superman made his body very powerful, and Wolverine's adamantium steel claws might not be able to break through the defense. It is impossible for Logan to teach with this weapon, he is not afraid at all. With things in mind, Shu Fu chatted with Logan. This is the most manly existence in the entire mutant academy, and his experience of hundreds of years is also very legendary. Shu Fu was also very curious. What? While the two were talking, there was a sudden scream in the distance. Shu Fu noticed sensitively that the hairs on Logan's body stood up. This should be the effect of Wolverine's beast intuition. This is an ability similar to spider telepathy, and it is also the source of Wolverine's fear of flying. Fire. I smell burning, Shu Fu frowned and said. Logan gave him a surprised look, as if surprised by Shu Fu's sensitivity. All help, you go back to your dormitory quickly. Scott and the others are not here, trouble. Logan turned away worried. Shu Fu didn't listen to him and followed directly behind. When the X-Men go out on missions, they will leave two people to watch the house. This time, what is left behind is Logan and the piano that has mastered the spiritual ability. Only, neither of them seemed to have a very good idea of what to do with fire. When Shu Fu and Logan arrived, the building was already on fire, and the flames were spreading rapidly towards the side, which could be said to be billowing with thick smoke. There were also screams from many people inside. Fortunately, all the students here have unique skills, but there is no need to worry about danger for the time being. Logan looked very serious. It looks like a big fire, isn't there a fire system installed inside? Shu Fu said, how did you keep up? Logan glanced at Shu Fu and explained. This is a building from the last century, and it is an independent building, and there were flaws in the early design. Since you have followed, you can help your classmates from here, and I will go in to help. Logan gave some instructions and ran into the fire. From Shu Fu's point of view, he might rely on his powerful self-healing ability to forcibly put out the fire and save people. And many more. Shu Fu grabs Logan. Wolverine's self-healing ability is so powerful that she can even resist nuclear bombs, but it is very painful. Shu Fu felt that there was no need for him to do such a thing. After all, he is a future fighting teacher, so it is very important to have a good relationship. Mr. Logan, don't worry, let me try first. Shu Fu said. Come and try, what are you going to do? What's the use of pure power now? Logan asked suspiciously. Teacher, I didn't just simply master the power. Shu Fu smiled mysteriously, then puffed up the cheeks and wanted to blow air into it. Logan, is there something wrong with this kid? What's the use of blowing on a fire of this level? Can you still blow out the flame? Isn't this a joke? Regardless of this strange child, Logan rushed into the building alone. For many people, this is just a school, but for him, this is still his home. Is where he can find meaning. He absolutely does not allow any bad things to happen here. Only. Halfway through the rush, he suddenly found that a cold white breath blew past him. The breath was blown to the burning upstairs, and ice crystals visible to the naked eye actually formed. The flame was extinguished by the naked eye in front of this white breath. Logan turned sharply. Then I saw Shu Fu blowing continuously. A white breath kept blowing out like a storm. Logan was instantly shocked. Fuck. What's going on? There are many students in Mutant Academy. Every student has a very unique ability. If you calm down, the fire is not a problem for the students at all. Whether it's Iceman, or Pyro, it's easy to handle this kind of stuff. Even Colossus, it is not difficult to rush in and put out the fire. Most of the students here are relatively young ones, probably only in their teens. Colossus, those with strong ability control, all studied in another place, and they were not as sharp as Shu Fu and Logan. Naturally, I couldn't come here. When they get here, Shu Fu has put out the fire. Superman's frozen breath is really a very domineering ability. Relying on this ability, he can even blow out fixed star in space. Even if Shu Fu has just mastered this ability, it is overkill to extinguish a fire, and he can beat mosquitoes with a cannon. 
white frosty breath continuously blows out from Shu Fu's mouth, ordinary flames cannot burn in this kind of frost at all. At first some white steam appeared, but later, only white ice crystals remained inside. Huge amounts of black smoke and spreading flames, extinguished directly. Only the traces of ice crystals covered by the buildings in the building can prove that a fire broke out here. Call, it's quite laborious. Shu Fu took a long breath and opened his mouth. Logan, strenuous, why can't he see it at all? He only saw Shu Fu blow a few breaths, and the freezing breath directly extinguished the fire. Faster than Iceman, which of you two is the Iceman? Logan didn't know what to say. The mutant students in the older grades who came quickly after getting the news were also stunned. Didn't it say there was a fire? Colossus said in a low voice. Compared with other students, Colossus is considered the most stable and reliable among them, giving people a sense of reliability, without the violent feelings shown by other old men. When he asked, a student who looked about ten years old spoke up. There was indeed a fire, but it was extinguished by Shu Fu. Hearing this, a group of people all looked at Shu Fu. Several mutant academy teachers, Colossus, Iceman, Pyroman, and the three mutant youths with relatively strong abilities, repeatedly looked at Shu Fu, the guy who has been in the limelight recently. In Mutant Academy, not all teachers are X-Men members. The teachers of Mutant Academy can be said to be the X-Men's reserve team. The current X-Men members are just a few of them who are famous and powerful. Coupled with the current Mutant Academy, it is far from the point where there are many mutants gathered behind. There are only five or six teachers here at the moment. They at the moment also followed. The look in Shu Fu's eyes was full of astonishment. Don't look at it, go in and save people. See if there are any injured children inside. Logan's voice rose. Everyone suddenly realized that they rushed into the building together. The education at Mutant Academy is still very effective. Most children are able to control their abilities and function to some extent. So under the fire, few children had major problems. Only a few children were injured, and most of the children were a little panicked. Shu Fu also made a cameo as a babysitter. Helping to comfort and deal with some younger mutants, I was too busy for a while. And over there, Iceman and Pyro got together. Looking at the ice crystals on the surrounding buildings, Pyro was amazed. Which one of you two is Iceman? He seems to be able to master the ability to control ice. You Iceman aren't the only one. Our brothers and sisters have all kinds of abilities, and it's normal to have similar abilities. Poppy Iceman spoke. Among the next generation of Mutant Academy, Iceman and Colossus are two of the most reliable. Compared with Pyro, an unstable guy, he didn't think much of it. Iceman didn't respond to Pyro's words. Burning Man also shook his head when he saw this, and began to deal with the surrounding things, and cooperated with other teachers to take the mutant child out. After everything was dealt with, Shu Fu found a place to rest. With his physical strength, doing these things will naturally not cause fatigue. But, anyone who has seen children knows that looking after children is not only physical labor, but also tiring. In addition, Shu Fu was a very lazy guy in the first place, and now he naturally finds a place to be lazy when he is free. Not long after he had been lazy, he saw Logan walking over with a cigar in his mouth. Seeing his tired eyes, Shu Fu knew it. Even for this X-Men hunk, childcare is a torment. Giving up two seats to Logan, Logan also took a deep breath and sat down next to Shu Fu. Call, Logan exhaled a smoke ring before looking at Shu Fu. How did you do it? There was a lot of doubt in Logan's eyes. As we all know, Mutant has only one ability. The variety of abilities displayed by Mutant is actually the in-depth development of its own abilities, with different performances. Such as Professor X, Mind Reading, Mind Stagnation, Mind Communication, etc. are all abilities developed based on originally ability. But the ability developed by Shu Fu is far from his originally ability, right? You, a muscular guy, have actually mastered the ability to control frost similar to Iceman, isn't that a bit outrageous? Even if Logan is a living fossil in mutant history, it's still a bit of a mystery. He had never seen such an outrageous thing when he was fighting the people of Hellfire. Facing Logan's doubts, Shu Fu just smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Isn't this a very simple thing? For us mutants, isn't mastering abilities the same as eating and drinking? 
Maybe I have a secondary mutation, I don't know. Shu Fu shook his head slightly and said. This is the advantage of mutants, no matter how outrageous your ability is, you will not arouse the suspicion of other mutants. Because there is always a mutant's ability, which is even more outrageous than your ability. Is that so? Logan was dumbfounded. He felt that there was something wrong with what Shu Fu said, but he didn't find out what was wrong. In the end, Logan could only sigh, blaming everything on Shu Fu ability. Mutant ability is really unreasonable. Over the past hundred years, he has seen too many weird mutants. Your ability is really rare. There are not many mutants like you who can have the second ability. Cherish your abilities well. Logan patted Shu Fu's shoulder hard. He pressed the cigar directly into his palm, patted his ass and left after the cigarette was extinguished. Shu Fu looked at his back and touched his chin. This Wolverine doesn't look as grumpy as he thought. Superman's ability is actually similar to mutant's ability. As he grows older, his ability will also slowly appear. But at the same time, a certain amount of emotional stimulation can also allow Superman to master his ability. The energy accumulated in Shu Fu's body in the past few days is already enough. As long as he wants, he can master the ability that Superman should have at any time. Since he needed it, he had mastered the frozen breath. This is also one of Superman's extremely abnormal abilities, which can extinguish a fixed star in space. Even if Shu Fu has mastered it initially, he can already unleash impressive power. Cooperating with his originally strong mental power, the power is even more powerful. But, compared to other people's frozen ability, Superman's frozen breath is more like a physical attack, relying on a powerful body. It is a direct manipulation and interference with heat. It is different from Iceman's ability to directly create frost out of thin air. If there is no moisture in the air, his ability will not have the frost effect, but it will be like an extremely cold air current, a bit like icy space. Frost is just the appearance, low temperature is the core. In terms of power, it is not weaker than freezing. Superman is indeed the most perverted existence in the DC universe, and any kind of ability is a bit beyond the standard. Not to mention thermal energy rays, perspective, flight and other abilities. More mutant than mutant. Let's go practice. Shu Fu was agitated in his heart, lifted his little horse and walked towards the lake behind the college. Ding. Successful daily sign in, gain energy plus 5. Seeing the sign in result, Shu Fu nodded. Signing in every day is to improve his three-dimensional attributes, and sometimes he will get items, which can be regarded as a stable income. Sunbathing, Shu Fu started fishing slowly. Shu Fu fished very leisurely. In the academy, Pyro and Iceman are chatting together. It's enough, why do we have to learn these messy things? That guy will be able to do without studying. It's not fair. Pyro couldn't help complaining to Iceman. As we all know, all students do not want to go to school, but only after working do they realize how wonderful it is to go to school. The same goes for Pyro, of course. Originally, because of his family, his personality was quite extreme, and when he encountered things he didn't like, he became even more irritable. Originally, he could bear it. But now, with Shu Fu, a guy who doesn't go to class, Burning Man suddenly felt unbalanced. If you have the ability, you can. Iceman spoke while reading a book. Hearing Poppy Iceman's words, Pyro's eyes flashed sternly. Why am I incapable? Is my ability to control flames not strong enough? While talking, Pyro turned around. The lighter in his hand ignited directly, and then a flame floated in his palm. Yeah, you're amazing. Iceman said something perfunctory. Shet, can't you be serious? No, I can't bear it, let me teach that guy a lesson. He is a native of Shaw, why should he be treated specially? Burning Man said angrily. Pyro had a very bad life when he was a child, and his personality was very extreme. He is also among the Mutant Academy, the group that most recognizes the supremacy of mutants and has always looked down on others. You can see what kind of character he is from when he joins Magneto's Mutant Brotherhood and works for Magneto. Originally, he looked down on Shu Sha in his heart. Originally, Shu Sha didn't have the awakening ability, so he was able to remain calm. Now Shu Fu has become a genius all of a sudden, and he is also in the limelight. Pyro immediately couldn't accept it anymore, he was jealous and resentful. He felt that the treatment that Shu Sha enjoyed now was what he should enjoy. 
just finding an excuse, Burning Man planned to trouble Xu Sha. Pyro stood up and walked towards the back of the academy. Iceman was very helpless, but he could only keep up with his friends. Compared with an outsider, he still has a better relationship with Pyro, and he still has some unclear reasons for Pyro. Let him have no resistance to Burning Man's decision. The two teamed up and soon reached the lake behind the college. When they arrived, Shu Fu was sitting on the Maza very intently, concentrating on fishing. Everything that happened around him seemed to have nothing to do with him. The more he looked at Shu Fu calmly, the angrier he became. Snapped, the silver white lighter in his hand ignited directly, and a fireball appeared in his hand. A strange smile appeared on Pyro's face, and as soon as he stretched out his hand, the fireball slammed towards Shu Fu. Looking at the fireball, Pyro's face was filled with anticipation. Like the bullies at school, Pyro is looking for trouble. It's just that he didn't think of it. Shu Fu seemed to have eyes on his back, he turned around quickly, and as soon as he reached out, he directly crushed the fireball. The flames couldn't leave any marks on his skin at all. Pyro's eyes suddenly widened. Is this guy a human? Even Wolverine would be injured if she was hit by him, but Shu Fu didn't feel the slightest bit. Naturally, Shu Fu didn't know what was going on in Fireman's mind, so he cast a glance at Fireman, rolled his eyelids, and said, Roll, don't bother me fishing. After speaking, he sat on the horse again and continued to fish and bask in the sun. Pyro didn't want to let it go. Two fireballs appeared in his hands again, and they smashed towards Shu Fu. Shu Fu turned his head, his eyes were very calm. He didn't want to talk to these two brats at first, but these two brats dared to go further. Then he has to teach this kid a lesson. Swish, Shu Fu's figure flashed, and the two throne flames were directly crushed by him. Let me educate you for the teachers. Some people are not something you can provoke. Shu Fu said something coldly. Come here if you have the ability. Pyro was not afraid at all, his face was full of rebelliousness. As soon as he stretched out his hand, the lighter lit up. The next moment, a flame as thick as a bucket shot towards Shu Fu. Shu Fu raised his eyelids. Call, he opened his mouth and blew, white breath shot out from his mouth, and ice crystals fell from the air constantly. Puff, the flame collided with the white breath, and a large amount of steam appeared out of thin air. Then the white frost breath quickly gained the upper hand, and the flame quickly lost its activity. Not only that, the white icy breath rushed towards the burning man, and his flames were powerless to resist. Call, the white Han Feng flickered, and was blown by the white aura directly in front of him, his eyebrows and hair turned white, covered with ice crystals. Where has burning man experienced such low temperature? Immediately shivered, the originally rebellious eyes immediately turned into fear. Ice man next to him was also full of surprise. So fast. He didn't even have time to react, and Pyro was frozen. Pyro is so weak, do not. It's not that Huo Ren is weak, it's that this guy is too strong. There are a lot of mutants in the Mutant Academy. But Iceman and Pyro have a very good relationship. Although Iceman looks playful, these are all his cover-ups. In fact, he doesn't like women. It wasn't for nothing that he hung out with Pyro. In this situation, although he was shocked, he reacted quickly and put his hand on Burning Man's shoulder. The frost on Pyro's body dissipated quickly, as if it had been purified. Shu Fu raised his eyebrows. As expected of a mutant whose potential can reach the level of Omega, among all the students, Iceman's potential is probably the strongest. This kind of subtle manipulation ability for frost is generally impossible for mutants. Interesting. Shu Fu watched Iceman operate with great interest, ready to see if he could learn something from it. But, Poppy Iceman absorbing the frost from Burning Man was only the work of Setsuna. Lifting his head, he looked at Shu Fu. Don't you think it's too much? How can you treat your classmates so hard? Hearing this, Shu Fu laughed angrily. Instead of thinking about Burning Man, he blamed him first. Why didn't you tell me when Burning Man made a move just now? If it wasn't for my strength, I would have been seriously injured by now. Why do you start to double standard now that you are weak? After studying with the X-Men for so long, you have learned this. Shu Fu made a sarcastic statement. Iceman was speechless for a moment. He also knew that it was their fault just now, but as the saying goes, caring makes chaos. 
he has a good relationship with Burning Man, so naturally he is towards Burning Man. Iceman was a little speechless when Shu Fu said this. After all, Iceman is not as extreme as Pyro, and among the X-Men, he can be considered a relatively righteous child, so naturally he will not beat him up at this moment. Just one glance at Pyro, who was still trembling, made Iceman's heart harden. I apologize to you for what John did, but I still want to challenge you. Shu Fu looked at Bobby playfully. Compared to Pyro, Poppy Iceman is much cuter and more sensible. If it weren't for Pyro's ancient one move, this kid might not even come here. But, the lessons that should be taught still have to be given. If young people are not allowed to accept the beatings of the society, they really don't know the heights of the heavens and the earth. Then hurry up, I'm going to go fishing after I've finished fishing earlier. Where is so much time wasting time with you? Shu Fu shook his head and said casually. Seeing Shu Fu being so arrogant, Iceman also felt angry. This is too arrogant, everyone is a student of Mutant College, why are you such a dick? Iceman gave a cold snort, and asked the trembling Pyro to take him beside him, and stood in front of Shu Fu. Compared with Pyroman, who needs a lighter to control the flames, Iceman's ability is much stronger. His ability has been mastered to the extreme, and he can even freeze molecules or even atoms, freezing time. Although the current Iceman is not so perverted, the temperature of the frost in his hands can reach hundreds of degrees below zero. Under this extreme temperature, even steel will be instantly brittle. Human beings may be frozen into ice cubes in an instant. As soon as Iceman raised his hand, white frost shot towards Shu Fu like a flamethrower. A white frosty breath spread in the air. Visible ice cubes form in the air. Compared with the low temperature possessed by Shu Fu ability, Iceman is more like a creation out of thin air, regardless of whether there is water in the space, it can form ice. It just doesn't make sense. His original state has changed, his whole body has turned into a block of ice, and even his hair has turned into white ice crystals. It can be turned into ice crystals, but it doesn't affect Bobby's flexibility at all, which is no different from a human body. Shu Fu watched with great interest. Mutant's ability is really amazing, it can make scientists autistic. But, it is a bit naive to want to use this method to attack Shu Fu. Superman's ability is not weaker than Iceman's, but Jin Chao is an existence above the five dimensions, time and space. Compared with it, Iceman is still far behind. Shu Fu opened his mouth, and the low temperature air gushed out from his mouth. Because the moisture in the air was turned into ice cubes by Iceman, the low temperature airflow ejected by Shu Fu did not produce any white traces. It's just that with the development of time, the white mist appeared again. It wasn't that the moisture in the air condensed, but that the temperature of the airflow he exhaled was too low, and the breath in the air began to liquefy. Its external manifestation is white mist. There was even a lot of wind around, because the air was constantly flowing here. Under this extremely low temperature, Iceman felt that the frost he emitted was beginning to be uncontrollable. His frost moved more and more slowly, as if he had lost his vitality and gradually died. At low temperatures, all molecules tend to be at rest. Even ice cubes are no exception. The low temperatures stop the ice from spreading. In Iceman's opinion, such means are a bit unbelievable, and his eyes widen suddenly. It has always been his frost that stops others and freezes them. Now he was frozen by others instead. He doesn't understand. Now it seems that Shu Fu stayed behind against Burning Man just now. If he really shot with all his strength, I'm afraid that Pyroman would have turned into ice cubes by now. How did you do that? What kind of ability are you? Iceman yelled a little excitedly. I only have one ability. It's just a little bit stronger. Shu Fu said flatly. Bobby was speechless, this is called a little strong. This is probably stronger than the members of the X-Men. So strong, what are you still doing in school, shouldn't you fight with the X-Men members? The same ability, he is not as good as others, so there is nothing to say. Thinking of this, Iceman sighed. You won, I can't beat you, I apologize to you. I promise Pyro won't bother you when he's around. Shu Fu nodded. Take care of your boyfriend, you won't be so lucky next time. Shu Fu said something coldly. He, Bobby's face flushed all of a sudden, and he wanted to say something. Shu Fu ignored him, sat down on his saddle, and started fishing again. Seeing that Shu Fu ignored him, 
Bobby had no choice but to help the still trembling Burning Man to leave. They didn't know that there was a person watching them all the time in the college. This man is none other than Mutant Academy founder and Asgardian Professor X Charles. Seeing Shu Fu's performance, even this powerful old man was shocked. Such a strong ability, such a strong combat power. Maybe this kid should join X-Men. It's just that this kid fishes all day, why is ability so strong? Professor X is confused. Mutant abilities are not static. After most of the mutant awakening, you still need to exercise and manipulate your ability. Only in this way can one's ability become stronger. And some mutants can't manipulate their own power even after they reach adulthood. One such example is Cyclops Scott, the captain of the X-Men. The laser light in his eyes must be controlled by a specially designed same frequency spectrum control device. He has no control over the lasers in his eyes. This is because Cyclops is too powerful compared to Scott. So powerful that Dark Phoenix can absorb Scott's energy as its own energy source. However, there are not many such powerful mutants who can control themselves or not, and they are considered a small group among the mutant group. Most of mutants' abilities are enhanced with age and exercise. Therefore, in Professor X's view, Shufu's ability is a bit outrageous. Power is not a big deal, many mutant abilities are very weird, and it can even be said to be extremely outrageous and unreasonable. But there are very few people like Shufu who are controlled by themselves and are so powerful. Generally speaking, only by continuous exercise can one be able to have such proficiency and at the same time be so powerful. Shufu just doesn't fit any of the above points. It's outrageous. Maybe it's just that I've never seen a new mutant. Let this kid start combat training in a few days, ready to join the X-Men. Although I am a little younger, it is a pity that I have to accept this fate to become a mutant. Professor X couldn't help but sigh. Mutant is not accepted by ordinary people. If you want to live a peaceful life, you need to make more efforts. Even if Shu Fu is not old enough, he can only do so. Shu Fu, who was fishing and basking in the sun, did not know that Professor X had arranged for him. Even if he knew, Shu Fu didn't care. Let him do it, and he will do it. Being an X-Men is useless at all, it's better to be comfortable fishing. Shu Fu fished happily, but I don't know that in other places, some people are not so comfortable. This is a place tens of kilometers away from Manhattan, a very hidden island. Although it is not far from New York, the largest city in the beautiful country, there is no trace of human beings here, just like a deserted island. But within a cliff on this deserted island, there are some hidden caves. The naturally formed caves have been artificially transformed into a suitable living environment. There are not only places to live, but also various equipment that look like experiments. On the wall next to it, there is even a huge iron railing cage and a machine that looks very huge amounts of. This machine looks like a gyroscope, with a fixed steel ring in the center and a seat-like thing in the middle. At this moment, among the huge amounts of machines, a gray-haired, very mild-looking elderly man was constantly touching the machine, with an expression as if the machine was his lover. Not far away, stood a woman with a graceful figure and blue skin. Not long after, two ugly men came to the huge amounts of machine with a blonde man on their backs. The two directly pressed him on a restraint chair in front of them. With the belt on, the blonde man couldn't move at all. I'm an MP, what are you going to do? The blonde man shouted loudly, with a terrified expression on his face. Robert MP, we definitely know you are MP. If you're not an MP, I won't be looking for you. A hoarse yet dignified voice sounded, and the old man in the machine looked at the restrained congressman with dignity. What do you want to do? Seeing the old man's gaze, he seemed to be stared at by a beast, and his eyes became more frightened. I have nothing to do, I just want to do to you what I did to us. I think, if you become a mutant, can you still be as high as you are now? The old man said in a slow but firm voice, and stood on top of the huge amounts of machine. He put his hands on the armrests, and massive energy began to gather into the machine. Above the machine, the huge amounts of iron ring began to rotate rapidly, and as the iron ring rotated, white light began to emanate from the center. What? Magneto in the middle of the machine let out huge amounts of wailing. These huge amounts of machines are constantly extracting his life force, and his life force is transformed and brewed in the machine. Hum, 
huge amounts of humming sounded constantly. Finally, the speed of this machine finally reached the extreme speed. Boom, the dazzling light spread out from the huge amounts of machine as the center. Mutant didn't seem to notice it, but the congressman who was restrained on the chair felt like his whole body had been mutilated, with tingling pain all over his body. The pain came and went quickly. Senator Robert felt something was wrong, he looked at his hands in horror, and shouted. What did you do to me? Magneto, who was opposite her, was extremely weak, and was supported by Mystique to stand up, and spoke weakly. I just turned you into our fellow man. From now on, you are also a part of us. No, it's impossible. I don't want to become a monster like you. Robert cried out in despair. Monster, that's when you'll understand what a monster is. Take him down. At Magneto's order, two ugly men took Robert down. Are you all right? At this time, Mystique Raven asked. I am too old to bear the horrible consumption of this machine. This machine is going to kill me. Magneto spoke in an extremely weak voice. Then what shall we do? Raven asked. We need to find a child who can rejuvenate our group. With her strength, we will be able to achieve our goals. Magneto Wang Chang stood up and said. Let's go, call people. Let's go to Mutant Academy. As long as we find the little rascal, our long-standing goal can be achieved. Magneto said. Hearing that he was going to attack Mutant Academy, Raven hesitated. Maybe it was seeing Raven's hesitation, Magneto said. Raven, on the road to greatness, necessary sacrifices are inevitable. But don't worry, I won't hurt our compatriots too much, let alone my old friends. Go, Raven heaved a sigh of relief when he heard this, and turned to leave. Magneto, on the other hand, was staring in one direction in a daze, not knowing what he was thinking. Mutants are a very powerful group. If we say in this group, who is the most powerful? Most mutants are identified as Magneto, the leader of the Mutant Brotherhood, and Charles, the leader of the X-Men. One has the power of controlling magnetic field, and the other has the power of mind control. The forces controlled by the two of them are also the two largest forces in mutant. It's just that the two are different. Magneto can be said to hate humans extremely, wishing to kill all humans, Professor X is much gentler in comparison. But for Mutant, Magneto is an absolutely gentle leader. For mutants like Raven and Toad, even Professor X is inevitably discriminated against in appearance. Only Magneto doesn't mind that, he sees any mutant as his own brother or sister. Because of this, many mutants work for Magneto. Mystique Raven, Toad, Sabretooth and others are under Magneto's command. With such a group of shrimp soldiers and crab generals, Magneto swaggered to the rear of Mutant Academy. But even so, Mutant Academy is still facing a formidable enemy. The ear-piercing siren sounded immediately. All the students were arranged by the teachers to enter the extremely strong underground shelter, only Charles brought the X-Men members to the Academy to confront the enemy. Cyclops Scott, Phoenix Chin, Storm Orlo, Wolverine Logan, plus Professor X Charles, this is the main combat force of Mutant Academy. On the bright side, their strength is definitely much stronger than the group of shrimp soldiers and crab generals led by Magneto, but the X-Men side is still facing the enemy. All because of Magneto. He alone is a mighty army. He is one of the most powerful mutants ever discovered. Eric, you promise me you won't come here. Sitting on the wheelchair, Charles spoke with a face as heavy as water. Give me the little rascal, and I'll leave immediately. We will not harm the children here. Charles, you can trust me on my word. Magneto said very sincerely. Obviously the tone was very flat, the hairs on Wolverine's body stood on end. Impossible. Eric, you should know that I will never hand over the children here. You have broken your promise by coming here. Charles spoke in great displeasure. Magneto is also very helpless, if it is not a last resort, he will never bring the war to Mutant Academy. He still contributed to the construction here. He also donated large sums of money. He didn't want to ruin his work. Just to achieve the great goal, he can sacrifice his own life without hesitation. I can't care about so much at the moment. With a thought. All the metal products around seemed to be alive, dancing with his movements. Charles, I don't want to ruin your work. Don't force me to shoot. Magneto spoke. Charles also had a thought. Magneto suddenly felt his arms tighten, only to find that Sabretooth and Revan standing behind him had grabbed his shoulders. 
Judging by the expressionless faces of the two of them, the situation has reached a stalemate. It seems that none of us can do anything to anyone, right? Magneto spoke. It's good that you understand, you should leave now. Charles also spoke. Ah, Magneto twitched his lips into a grin. Charles felt wrong. But before he could react, there was a strong force from behind, and Charles was knocked over from the wheelchair in an instant. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw that Wolverine flew up like a rock and knocked him out. No matter how hard Wolverine tried, she couldn't break free from that strong bondage. Professor, Jean quickly took some X-Men to help Charles. And Wolverine was held up in front of Magneto. You were really easy to be manipulated. Magneto stretched out his hand with a smile, and the steel railing above the small garden next to him bent like noodles. The steel plunged directly into Wolverine's body, restraining him and immobilizing him. What? Wolverine let out a howl of pain. But in front of Magneto, a strong man who restrained him, he didn't resist ability at all, and could only roar helplessly. Swish. Wolverine flew away like a rock. And at the moment. Shu Fu is still fishing. What happened at the gate of Mutant Academy did not attract his attention at all, and all his attention was on the pond in front of him. His face was full of anticipation, hoping that a fish would bite the bait. It's just that he hasn't expected it for a long time, and suddenly a black shadow falls from the sky. Boom. It seemed as if a bomb had been dropped in the pond, and huge splashes exploded from the surface of the water. Grass. Who blew up my nest? Shu Fu was furious. As we all know, the fisherman has a good temper. Generally, if you don't provoke him, he will be kind. The only exception is when you blow up his nest. At this time, the fisherman will become extremely irritable. At this time Shu Fu is in this state. How can you catch it? I want to see who it is. I'm not even allowed to catch fish. Is there any reason for this? Is there any law of the king? Shu Fu gritted his teeth and said. The Joker thought network started to work, and he determined the trajectory of the black shadow in the blink of an eye. And make sure that what fell was not someone else, but a person. However, he didn't have time to worry about why someone fell from the sky. Looking at the red blood in the lake, he definitely didn't do it on purpose. Facing the direction the person was flying from, Shu Fu rushed over without hesitation. Everything in front of him was directly destroyed by him, the half-meter thick tree was directly smashed by him, leaving a series of potholes on the ground. It can be seen how angry he is at the moment. In less than a minute, he rushed to the gate of the academy. Then I saw the X-Men and the Mutant Brotherhood who had used their ability to fight together. Magneto took the lead, Wolverine was directly crippled, Charles was injured, and at this moment the Mutant Brothers directly gained the upper hand. Shu Fu doesn't care who these two gangs are. Stop it. Shu Fu roared like thunder, with huge amounts of sound, it shattered the glass on the wall of the college, as if it was a lion's roar. The X-Men and Mutant Brotherhood, who were fighting together just now, were directly stunned by his loud shout. I couldn't even care about the battle, and everyone looked up. Tell me, who just threw something? Shu Fu grinned sinisterly and stretched his muscles. There was a constant rattling sound coming from his body. The sudden appearance of Shu Fu stunned all the mutants present. After a while, the expression of X-Men changed drastically. Go, it's dangerous here. Scott yelled at Shu Fu. He touched his temple with one hand, and a red light shot out from his eyes, trying to direct the attack to Shu Fu's troublesome saber-tooth. Just how could Magneto do what he wanted? Raise your hand. A huge amount of iron plate on the ground directly rose into the air and blocked it. The red laser light easily cut the huge amounts of iron plate in half. After such a delay, Sabretooth had already arrived in front of Shu Fu. Unlike Wolverine's brother, Sabretooth is a real beast who really enjoys killing. It's not like Magneto, because it's also a mutant, so he will keep his hands. So seeing Shu Fu, he just grinned. Then he landed on all fours, like a ferocious beast, and rushed towards Shu Fu. His nails are not human-like, they look like a bear, and they are extremely strong. When he ran underground, he scratched four marks on the ground. Every step will leave huge amounts of footprints on the ground. If it was an ordinary person standing in front of Sabretooth, he would have been so frightened by this ferocious posture that his legs and feet would go weak, and he would have lost his ability to resist. But in front of him was Shu Fu. 
he originally had the extraordinary reaction ability of Superman's body, and Sabretooth's movements were like ants on the ground in his eyes. Instead of looking ferocious, it looked a little funny. Coupled with the Joker Sven network, he also has an extremely accurate grasp of human weaknesses. Sabretooth landed on all fours and stepped hard, leaving huge amounts of traces on the ground. He wanted to fly out of thin air and kill Shu Fu directly. Shu Fu could even see the beast like sharp teeth in his mouth. It's now, Shu Fu narrowed his eyes and stepped on the ground with one leg. In the blink of an eye, he had already reached the side of Sabretooth's body. At this moment, Sabretooth was rising out of thin air, seeing Shu Fu disappear, his face showed surprise, he felt bad and wanted to react. Pity. Late, Shu Fu raised his foot directly. This kick even caused rumors of hunting. You must know that no matter how powerful a person is, the strength of the upper body cannot exceed the strength of the lower body. The terrifying power exerted by the thigh far exceeds that of the fist. Shu Fu's fists have a huge force of more than 40 or 50 tons. At this moment, with all his strength, he might have more than 60 tons of terrifying power. Not to mention Sabretooth in front of him, even a muck truck full of muck might not be able to withstand this deadly attack. Boom, Shu Fu kicked Sabretooth's most vulnerable abdomen firmly. Click it, click it. Shu Fu heard the sound of broken bones, Sabretooth's broken ribs and almost broken cervical vertebrae. His eyes were protruding, as if they were about to be sprayed directly from the inside of his head. A mouthful of blood spewed out of the mouth, which was a symbol of internal organs rupture. Not only that, in front of Shu Fu's huge amounts of strength, Sabretooth was like a broken doll, and was kicked by Shu Fu for nearly a hundred meters. Sabretooth slammed into a tree so hard that he slid down. He fainted immediately on the spot, exhaling more air than inhaling. If it wasn't for him being brothers with Wolverine and also having an amazing recovery ability, Sabretooth would have gone to hell by now. Shet, several members of the mutant brotherhood gasped. God, what a monster. That's Sabretooth, Mystique Raven wailed inwardly. This is Sabretooth, the one with the highest combat power in brotherhood, second only to Magneto. It turned out that such a trick was abolished. Mutant Academy, where did you find this pervert? As everyone knows. She was surprised, and several experts from Mutant Academy were also quite surprised. They only knew that Shu Fu's ability was very powerful, and his power was very tyrannical, but they didn't expect it to be so powerful. With just one move, Sabretooth was beaten to the ground, unable to get up. Are today's young people so fierce? When I saw Shu Fu's Cyclops Scott for the first time, I was even more surprised. He wanted to let Shu Fu run first, but he didn't expect that this kid was so fierce, and the Joker was himself. The scene suddenly fell silent. The fierce mutants who were fighting with the X-Men stopped fighting immediately. Only Magneto remained unchanged, looking at Shu Fu in amazement. There is no emotion of fear, but it is like looking at a gem. You are so young, you have such outstanding ability. It's time to contribute to the struggle of our mutant cause. Come with me, you can have a great opportunity to play, compared to here, there is a lot to do. Instead of being angry, Magneto recruited Shu Fu generously. Shu Fu didn't care about the old man Magneto. He is very lazy by nature, so he has no interest in participating in the doomed and impossible rescue of mutant. Not to mention, he is still angry now. Did you throw the person just now? Shu Fu stared at Magneto and asked. That's right. Magneto is not someone who hides his head and shows his tail, and he admits it without hesitation. That's good, so I won't be afraid of hitting the wrong person. Shu Fu narrowed his eyes and shook his neck. The next moment, the ground under his feet exploded, and the figure disappeared suddenly. In an instant, he was near Magneto. Even a strong man like Magneto, who has been through a lot of wind and frost, felt a palpitation in his heart. Although he is Magneto, Mutant is not good at this point, their powerful abilities do not change their bodies. His body is only slightly stronger than that of ordinary old people. If he got hit like that, he might be blown up right away, literally blown up. With a wave of Magneto's hand, the steel fence in the nearby garden turned into javelins and shot towards Shu Fu. There were tearing air sounds in the air. Shu Fu narrowed his eyes, dodged a few javelins, and inevitably froze for a while. Magneto is not willing to let it go. Since you don't want to have a good talk, 
let's talk about it after I control you. Speaking of those steel railings seemed to be alive, he turned around and shot towards Shu Fu. Shu Fu's upper body flashed, and the railing shot past his body. As soon as he grabbed it, he grabbed the railing in his hands. Magneto waved his hand again. A large amount of metal in the academy flew up densely, and began to shapeshift in midair, turning into sharp spears. Magneto looked at Shu Fu with a confident smile on his face. Now, can we talk? You are not my opponent. Magneto stepped on the metal disc and flew into the air. Behind it is a metal spear that obscures the sky. Omega Grade Mutant lives up to its name. As the saying goes, there are only wrong names, not wrong nicknames. Other people's nicknames are Mystique, Storm, Cyclops, Wolverine and the like. And Eric is called Magneto. A king character can fully expose his character and strength. The sense of oppression brought by this powerful mutant is very amazing, and ordinary people can't imagine this kind of power at all. Facing Magneto floating in midair, several members of the X-Men were a little suffocated. This feeling is really not very good. There were only two people present who felt nothing. One is a powerful psychic ability user, also an Omega-level mutant Charles. The other one is Shu Fu. With the body of Superman, Shu Fu is stronger than everyone present in terms of potential. He doesn't have that much awe for being strong, and coupled with his extraordinary strength, he naturally doesn't have much awe for Magneto. The most powerful thing about Superman's body is not the incomparable power and various abilities, but the amazing defense ability. Apart from kryptonite, there isn't much substance that can pierce Superman's skin. In the Marvel world, there is no such thing as kryptonite. In other words, he can be said to be invincible now. Magneto may have the ability to trap him. Want to kill him. Impossible. Then what is Shu Fu afraid of? Don't let him fish, that's what troubles him. Ah, let me also give you a suggestion, apologize to me now, and I can forgive you. Shu Fu sneered and said. He is a very reasonable person, and he never does anything that does not teach. Seeing how confident he was, Magneto shook his head. Young people have never seen the world. Soon you'll see how naive you really are. Teach you a lesson, so that you can realize the true face of this world, maybe you will change your mind. Shu Fu disdains. If he is in the apocalypse strengthening state, then Magneto, who can mobilize the Earth's magnetic field, will turn around and leave. In this normal state, Magneto didn't even fully grasp his most basic ability. What is he afraid of? He reached out and grabbed the spear that was shot by Magneto in his hand. Shu Fu shot with one step. Snapped. The steel spear broke through the sound barrier in an instant. With astonishing power and super speed, the spear even left a trace in the air like a fighter jet. In less than a breath, the spear was near Magneto. Immediately afterwards, the metal spear seemed to be pierced into a mass of mud, and the original astonishing speed began to slow down. The closer you are to Magneto, the slower you press the spear. Finally the spear seemed to have run out of power, and stopped within a few centimeters of Magneto's face. Even so, Magneto broke out in a cold sweat. He is also a veteran. But this is the first existence that can launch metal products to such a distance in front of him with pure strength. This power is too terrifying. If it were him when he was young, he might not be able to resist this terrifying force at all, and would be torn apart by this terrifying spear in an instant. This kid in front of him, what kind of ability is awakening? Magneto quickly realized that now is not the time to think about these things, as long as Shu Fu is captured, he will naturally know everything. With a wave, floating behind him, those raindrops of metal shot towards Shu Fu like a torrential rain. Swipe. The air was filled with the sound of various objects breaking through the void. Shu Fu didn't even look at it, and rushed forward. The speed of these metals is not as fast as it seems, and the kinetic energy contained in them may not even match that of bullets. He is not afraid of Barrett, afraid of these things. As predicted, those metal spikes pierced his body like a torrential rain, immediately lost their kinetic energy, and directly shapeshifted and fell to the ground. Apart from the ragged clothes on his upper body, there was no injury on his skin at all. It was as strong as a skin made of steel, not even a single red mark was left. This is the frightening thing about Superman's body. It has extremely high resistance, and ordinary kinetic energy attacks can't break through the defense at all. Aside from kryptonite and doomsday, 
Superman hasn't even been heard by anything he's come across. It's not for nothing that Superman is called a god among men. With such a powerful body and extreme speed, even Magneto's face changed suddenly. What awakening are you awakening? While Magneto waved his hand, a large amount of metal hit Shu Fu's body, but it was only able to temporarily block his actions. Shu Fu didn't even scratch the oily skin. On the contrary, the ground is all shapeshifting, even the metal twisted into twists by Shu Fu. And the X-Men next to him have been staring blankly for a long time. Scott, the captain of the X-Men, even wanted to take off his glasses and take a good look. This child Shu Fu is too fierce. He had seen in the news that Hulk was making a big fuss at the military base, and he thought it was like this. The metal manipulated by Magneto was not weaker than the cannonball, so it couldn't cause any damage to Shu Fu. What exactly is Shu Fu's body made of? Colossus is not so fierce, is it? Ololo, is this the ability you told me earlier? Scott looked at Orolo. Even Chin looked at Orolo, hoping for an explanation. Orolo herself was also confused. She just tested Shu Fu's strength and speed initially, but she didn't expect his fighting ability to be so amazing. Isn't this without any shortcomings? Among all the people present, I am afraid that only Professor X Charles met a little bit. It's just that seeing Shu Fu behave like this, he was also very surprised, but it was because of years of experience that he didn't show it. The X-Men took Charles aside to watch the show. Over there, the battle between Shu Fu and Magneto was very intense. Shu Fu's physical strength is endless, like a perpetual motion machine. Although Magneto interrupted Shu Fu's movements with continuous metal attacks, it was only a stopgap measure. The distance between the two of them is slowly getting closer. Magneto could imagine that if Shu Fu were to get close to him, with his old body, he would probably be killed in less than a second. Don't let this guy get close. Magneto's heart skipped a beat. The silver white metal plate under his feet moved quickly, and quickly distanced himself from Shu Fu. When Shu Fu saw that something was wrong, he turned his head and immediately had an idea. Joker's ability may not be very good for research, but it is absolutely top notch for shady people. Based on his knowledge of Magneto, Shu Fu decisively taunted. As the leader of the dignified mutant brotherhood, the mighty mutant Magneto, just hiding. After Shu Fu said this, several mutants behind Magneto looked at Magneto. Magneto suddenly got stuck. Chapter 11. With one word from Shu Fu, Magneto was stopped. In mutant brotherhood, Magneto has always said what he says, and he gets what he says. The mutant of the mutant brotherhood is surrounded by Magneto because of his strength and majesty. But what majesty is there for a leader who retreats one after another during a battle? Maybe other mutants don't care, but Magneto himself can't help it. Throughout his life, he has never been afraid of other enemies except for showing his timidity in front of Dark Phoenix in full state. After Shu Fu said this, he naturally couldn't back down. Even if the mutant behind him didn't say anything, Magneto didn't allow himself to back off. If a young man like Shu Fu forced him to keep retreating, how would he be able to get along among the mutants in the future? When someone mentions it, it's all, you were beaten by a miner. He might as well go out and find a piece of tofu and kill him. He's Magneto, he has his own pride. Magneto stopped in his tracks, and with a wave of his hand, a large amount of metal around him began to shapeshift. This shows how incredible Mutant is, and how terrifying Magneto is. He is only one person, but he controls the metal of the entire half of Mutant Academy. Every piece of metal, like plasticine, was manipulated and shapeshifted by him at will, and the original nature of the metal seemed to disappear. The huge amounts of metal were needed perfectly by him directly, forming two huge amounts of metal pillars. The pillar was bound towards Shu Fu. Shu Fu dodged quickly. Magneto, are you serious about not apologizing? Are you really trying to trouble me? Shu Fu figure high speed movement. The metal in midair has nothing to do with him. Ha ha, young people don't always heed their lessons. This world is not as simple as you think. Magneto became calm and reached out his hand directly. As soon as he raised his hand, huge amounts of metal were constantly shapeshifting, chasing after Shu Fu to tie it up. In that case, you're in trouble. Shu Fu snorted coldly. He no longer dodged, and stopped moving. The huge amounts of metal around him, like a burrito, rolled up his whole body, leaving only one head outside. 
What can you do now, young man? I won't kill you, on the contrary, I appreciate your strength very much. This is your unique and powerful ability. But if you want to display the power of this ability, you should join my mutant brotherhood. Magneto spoke very sincerely. His voice is very bewitching and has a unique charm. Powerful, but has a unique personality charm. This is Magneto, a fighter for his race. After gaining the upper hand, Magneto began to try to persuade Shu Fu to go over. Shu Fu snorted coldly. Late, can you still resist? Magneto said with a smile. Acquiring Shu Fu, a powerful child, is more important than obtaining the little rascal. I have a lot of means. Shu Fu grinned. Just blow down. The white breath suddenly spread from here, and a large amount of white breath began to spread on the metal around him. In an instant, the surrounding metal was covered with frost. What have you done? Magneto's expression froze, and he wanted to manipulate the metal in front of him, but found that the metal, which was originally swung like an arm, became difficult to manipulate and was very obscure. It felt like being stuck in mud, very uncomfortable. The expression on Shu Fu's face is more confident. What did I do? Children who haven't been to school don't understand. Shu Fu looked at Magneto with pity. Magneto's ability is actually extremely abnormal, and it can even be said to be an ability that only gods can master. His ability is not simply manipulating metal, but manipulating the electromagnetic force, one of the four fundamental forces. After being strengthened by Apocalypse, he can even manipulate any substance in the soil, and that is the true appearance of his ability. It's a pity that Magneto's ability practice is not perfect. What he is using now is his weakness, the extremely low temperature, which makes the movement of electrons in the molecules extremely weak. Magneto at its peak may not be affected by this kind of interference, but the current Magneto does not have this ability. At Shu Fu's low temperature, those metals become difficult to manipulate. Crunch, crunch, a tooth-piercing voice sounded, and Magneto actually saw, in front of him, a crack visible to the naked eye appeared on the metal trapping Shu Fu. Cold temperatures make metals very brittle. Jin Guang's hardness has not changed, but it is easier to break free. Shu Fu's fingers hit the metal with a high-frequency movement and powerful force. The metal that had already become brittle could not withstand such a powerful blow at all. Boom! Shu Fu pushed hard. All the surrounding metal exploded, like cannonballs, and flew towards the surroundings. You! Magneto was dumbfounded. I don't understand how Shu Fu did it. How could the metal be stretched apart by the flesh? You must know that this is a metal with a thickness of 1 meter, high-strength steel. Not to mention the human body, if you put armor-piercing bullets on the tank, he can't even pierce it. Shu Fu broke free just like that. What kind of humanoid beast is this? How did you do it? This is not something that pure strength can do. You have other abilities. Magneto said in a low voice. You guessed right, but unfortunately there is no reward. What else do you have now? Shu Fu looked at Magneto playfully. This is impossible, how can a mutant have two abilities? No, you must have the ability to simulate other people. Magneto looked at Shu Fu with shock in his eyes. That's right. Shu Fu didn't bother to explain. Rush directly in front of Magneto. Instead, Charles tensed up. Shu Fu, save him. Charles spoke. Seeing that it was the boss of the college who was speaking, Shu Fu glanced at Charles and walked directly in front of Magneto. As soon as he reached out, he took off his helmet. Don't worry, Professor, I'm not crazy. I don't think you're going to make it easy for him, are you? Shu Fu narrowed his eyes and asked. Definitely. Charles nodded. The moment Shu Fu took off Magneto's helmet, Magneto was under control. No human being on the entire planet could resist his mind control, not even Magneto. Seeing that Charles agreed so easily, Shu Fu thought about the relationship between the two of them. Why do you feel something is wrong? You can't let this old man go easily. Shu Fu thought in his heart. Killing people because they were disturbed would definitely not be the case. To do so would be lunatic and antisocial. But it's okay to make Magneto miserable. Shu Fu wiped his hand, and a white injection device appeared in his hand. Magneto's face suddenly changed. Magneto is a wanted criminal in many countries and is known as an anti-humanity element. But in fact Magneto Eric is not so anti-human. As a young man, he worked in a steel mill and even rescued his fellow workers. 
His extreme personality is caused entirely because of his bad luck. Another person has the experience of Magneto coming out of a concentration camp, being hostile in various ways, and having his wife killed, which is even more extreme than him. If there is an experience that Magneto is most unwilling to mention, it is naturally his experience in the concentration camp. Not only was he forced to use ability, but someone experimented on him. It was a hell of an experience. Seeing Shu Fu take out the syringe that resembled a bullet, Magneto's childhood memories flooded his mind, and he felt a little guilty. Don't worry, it just makes you lose your ability. Shu Fu said with a smile. Now his smile was in Magneto's eyes, but it was like a demon. You can't, you can't make me lose my ability. Magneto spoke very calmly. Just try it and you'll know. Shu Fu smiled and said. He naturally doesn't have this ability. But he has a system. This is exactly what he caught by fishing, the X-gene inhibitor drug. In the original world, it was made based on the gene of a mutant child who can make people lose their abilities. It can make the most powerful mutant lose its ability for about a year. After a year, ability will slowly recover. In his later years, Magneto was so peaceful against Sentry because he lost his ability for a year. The system rewarded him with this powerful potion, the bane of all mutants. Without telling Magneto too much, Shufu directly plunged the transparent bullet-like potion into Magneto's body. Eric, I have a lot of respect for you, but in some ways, you are too extreme. Be an ordinary person and think about it. Shu Fu pulled out the transparent potion, looked at Magneto and said. The expression on Magneto's face was unusually complicated. Feeling the weakness in his body, his heart was extremely complicated. He literally lost his ability. How can that be? How did you do that? Magneto was a little shocked and didn't know what to say. But he didn't know that the mutants who were watching all this from behind were even more shocked. Shu Fu, a young mutant. He actually defeated the king among the mutants. Mighty Magneto, also took away his powerful ability. Horrible, the X-Men looked at Shu Fu fine. Those members of the mutant brotherhood are extremely complicated. Their invincible leader was defeated so easily, what should they do? Just a young man, why is he so powerful? Sabretooth was okay, just a little shocked and terrified. Like Raven and Toad, it's a bit more complicated. In their hearts, they longed for and feared the loss of the mutant's ability. It's just that they couldn't help thinking about it, Charles had already been pushed forward by Chin. Looking at Shu Fu, Charles also had a complicated expression. He did not expect that Shu Fu's performance was so amazing. Where did you get this potion? Charles asked. This has something to do with their mutant ability, and if he doesn't ask clearly, he really doesn't feel at ease. Professor, everyone has their own secret. Don't worry, instead of worrying about this thing being in my hands, it's better than other forces. Shu Fu shook his head and said. I have to say that mutant is really weak. With such a powerful ability, it was destroyed by various forces. A random colonel in the military made them uncomfortable. Shu Fu was also drunk. Professor X is a good guy, but definitely not fit to be a leader. A good man cannot be a leader. After speaking, Shu Fu turned around and left regardless of how the X-Men reacted. Charles's words were directly held in his mouth, and he held back for a long time before opening his mouth. This kid really has character. Why didn't I find out before? Jean coughed. Children with abilities are like this, it's normal. Teach me well in the future. Just don't talk about letting him enter X-Men in the future, I guess the kid won't agree. Charles nodded. Then what do we do with these people? Chin looked at the mutant controlled by Charles, feeling a little headache. Charles couldn't help but sigh too. Let them go. We cannot lay hands on our fellow citizens. Charles spoke. Then he turned his attention to the several mutants brought by Magneto. Let's go, but it's best not to do anything bad again, or let me know. I will let you have the intelligence of a six-year-old child for the rest of your life. Charles spoke softly but it was such gentle words that made several mutants tremble. After Charles agreed, they turned and left. Although he wanted to save Magneto, he had no chance in front of Charles. Seeing several mutants leaving, Charles looked at Magneto who was still in a daze. Old friend, you stay here. It just so happens that we haven't played chess for a long time, so it's time to communicate. Charles spoke softly, take the members of X-Men and start to clean up the battlefield. 
and Shu Fu from at the moment. Carrying a helmet, he returned to his own lake. This thing is nothing but the helmet that Magneto wears to shield Professor X's mind ability. This is a good thing. Mental ability is the most unreasonable mutant. An existence at the level of Professor X can even manipulate anyone's thoughts, but only a powerful existence like Scarlet Witch can resist one or two. Well known, Superman has low magic resistance. Naturally, Shu Fu needs to make plans early, what if he encounters a person with psychic abilities in the future? Isn't he at the mercy of others? So he took the helmet by hand and put it in his hand. In the future, even a strong man with a mental ability like Professor X will not be able to have any influence on his brain at all. Good stuff, good stuff. This battle is really not in vain. Shu Fu felt flattered, and as soon as he stretched out his hand, the helmet was put into the storage space of the system. Then sit comfortably on the Maza and start fishing. Crash. As soon as he sat down, there was a sound of water in the water, and an embarrassed figure crawled out of the water with difficulty. Um, Mr. Logan, do you need help? Seeing the miserable Wolverine, Shu Fu couldn't help feeling sorry. Wolverine relies on self-healing ability, able to resist nuclear weapons. Such a pity, met his nemesis. Besides being afraid of heights, Wolverine is probably most afraid of Magneto. Shu Fu lifted Logan out of the water and helped him dispose of the steel on his body. At this moment, Logan was really relieved. After Magneto was subdued, Mutant's life returned to peace. However, Shu Fu's life has become uneasy. When he was walking on the road, there were always a bunch of children pointing at him. There is envy and shock in the words. Is he the one who defeated Magneto? Too strong. It looks ordinary and nothing special. I heard that he awakened two abilities, which are very powerful. Scary. For these words, Shu Fu ignored them at the time, completely pretending that they did not exist. With enough strength, you don't need to care about the opinions of too many people. With this time, it is better to catch a few fish. But, this is still a bit of an advantage. At the very least, the teachers of X-Men no longer asked him to attend lectures by force. This makes Shu Fu's fishing life a little more comfortable, and it is right to realize the freedom of fishing. However, the systems and systems provide good things. No matter what you draw, it has its own effect. It would be great if I caught some more perverted things. Shu Fu is not as greedy as a snake, he still wants to get more good things. But this is also human nature. Shaking his head, Shu Fu sat down straight away, pulled out his fishing rod and threw it out. Ding. Sign in successfully and get an extraordinary fishing rod. Extraordinary fishing rod. The magical power that can be attached to an ordinary fishing rod, making the fishing rod indestructible and slightly increasing the probability of catching high-level fish. Um, Shu Fu's eyes lit up. This thing is good. When he was fishing before, he discovered that those fish with special power were very powerful. The ordinary premonition in his hand felt that he couldn't hold it at all, and he didn't even dare to use force. Now it's all right, let's not talk about whether to increase the chance or not, making this fishing rod indestructible is really important. Beautiful, looking at the fishing rod undulating in the water, Mrs. Shu's eyes are full of happiness. For a fisherman, there is nothing more comfortable than this kind of life. Looking at the pond comfortably. With a sudden movement of the hand, the float went straight into the water. Shu Fu's eyes lit up. Yes, it still looks like a big deal. Come up to me. With the blessing of the extraordinary fishing rod given by the system, Shu Fu can finally use his full strength. The power belonging to Superman exploded at this moment. The blue veins on his arm were bulging high, like a strong giant, huge amounts of strength burst out along the fishing rod. Boom, the lake exploded suddenly, and he caught a big fish out of the water. Blue, Shu Fu's eyes lit up, and he directly caught the fish in his hand. Portal, portal, the most profound and basic space magic from Kamar Taj, you can go anywhere in one thought. It turned out to be a portal. There was a bit of surprise on Shu Fu's face. Although this magic is the magic that Kamar Taj first learned, it is actually abnormal to the extreme. Just a magician, concentrate on thinking, you can go anywhere on the earth. What kind of perverted method is this? And this is not the limit of this magic. As long as you have enough spiritual power, you can even use the portal to travel to other dimensions and other places in the universe. Very perverted. 
In other worlds, this level of magic can only be mastered by a high-level magician. Kamar Taja's magic, outrageous. This magic is so useful, you don't have to walk when fishing in the future. Who knows where the fish pond will be in the future? Shu Fu's eyes were full of anticipation. The reward items of the system can only be obtained in the fish pond specified by the system. Now the fish pond of this system is in Mutant College. Who knows where this thing will be brushed in the future? Maybe brushed to an alien planet. This reward came at the right time. You can go wherever you want in the future. Invincible. Ding. The host independently obtains the catch and reaches the established level. Every time the host fishes, it will cause a hundred times the previous power to produce a critical strike. With the system's voice down, Shu Fu felt a coolness in his head, and his thinking seemed to be much faster than before. In the body, there seems to be a kind of power pouring in. Boom, Shu Fu sat down on the ground, and the ground split open, leaving a large hole several meters in diameter. Shu Fu was dumbfounded. My power has become so terrifying. The addition of this system is too perverted. Now Superman lives up to his name. Shu Fu took a deep breath. He was completely defenseless, and he didn't use any force at all to cause so much damage. It was as if a meteorite had hit the ground. How much has his strength increased? The system is too outrageous. Come here a few times, isn't it invincible? Shu Fu's face was full of surprise, and he even forgot the little Maza who had been with him for so long. System Panel Shu Fu muttered in his heart, and the system panel appeared. Host. Shu Fu. Age. 17. Strength. Tier 1. Physique. 60. Spirit. 47. Energy. 50. Fish Pond. Artificial Lake. Item. Vix Fishing Rod. Extraordinary Fishing Rod. X Gene Inhibitor. Skills. Superman Body, Bronze Stage, Joker Thought Network, Dimension Ascension Level 1, Portal, Planet Level, Freezing Breath. Hiss. Shu Fu took a deep breath and doubled all his attributes. It doesn't seem to be high, but if it is put together, his strength has definitely been improved qualitatively, probably several times. Now if he meets Magneto, he may be able to instantly kill him. This is too exaggerated. The system is really perverted. But it's troublesome now. I definitely can't fish today. Shu Fu couldn't help but sigh. After being blessed by the system, the so-called extraordinary fishing rod left clear fingerprints visible to the naked eye under his powerful strength. This is a phenomenon in which his strength suddenly increased too much for him to manipulate. Just try out your new ability, go back and learn to control your power. Maybe after you successfully master your own power, you may be able to master a new ability again. Shu Fu thought silently in his heart. Reach out. The energy in his body was depleted a little. A golden portal formed in front of him. Golden sparks kept flickering, and opposite him was exactly what his room looked like. This wasn't his room at Mutant Academy. It was a house left to him by his deceased family members. He hasn't been back for a long time. This house is a whole world away from Mutant Academy. The portal really lives up to its reputation. Sure enough, it can be teleported on the earth at will. It's too powerful. Waved away the portal. The things given by the system are indeed worthy of the name. Shu Fu felt that he was already invincible. Professor X is a very strong person. The reason why he can only become a principal or a professor is not because he has no ability, but because he is not bad enough. Under his control, Magneto's invasion did not have any impact on Mutant Academy. With the efforts of many mutant teachers, Mutant Academy began to rebuild. For Shu Fu, this is a good thing. In the Marvel world, everything is not peaceful. He still likes such a peaceful place. After a day of training, Shu Fu finally almost mastered his sudden surge of power, and the situation of losing control yesterday will not happen again. This is all due to the rewards given by the system, the Joker Thinking Network, which is not just as simple as calculating people's hearts. Plus, Superman originally had superior intelligence. Krypton's technology is extremely advanced, and Superman's father is also a top scientist on Krypton, so his IQ cannot be bad. The superposition of the two makes Shu Fu's IQ very high, and his thinking reaction ability is far beyond what ordinary people don't know. It is not difficult for him to master power. Putting on his own clothes, Shu Fu opened the door and walked towards his favorite home, the pond behind. 
Just sit down, swing the pole, and he can sit straight for a day. Ding. Sign in successfully, gain energy plus 10. Shu Fu was a little surprised. He discovered that among his three attributes, physique is undoubtedly the easiest to improve, and the one with the most check-ins is also the physique attribute. And energy is equivalent to the magical power of magicians, the mana of cultivators, anyway, this kind of energy is needed to activate related abilities. This energy boost is more difficult. He was naturally very happy to be able to obtain this kind of attribute enhancement. But he didn't know that his every move was watched by a person. This person is none other than Orlo, the Storm Maiden. Don't look at the fact that she didn't seem to play a role in the previous Magneto invasion. In fact, as the vice captain of the X-Men, she is very powerful. Her ancestors can even be traced back to the time of Atlantis, known as the Storm Goddess by the people of ancient times. Not only can she control storms and lightning, but she also has impressive magical powers. By manipulating lightning and using magic, the destructive power is amazing. This also caused Orlo to have an amazing perception of magical power. Mutant uses the power of mutant in the academy, and Orlo may not be able to sense it. But if she uses magic in the academy to sense this kind of fluctuation, it is not so difficult for her. She had a perception of strange magic fluctuations in the academy yesterday. Only, Mutant Academy was in chaos yesterday, and the students also needed to be comforted. She didn't have time to deal with these things at all. If I have time today, I will naturally start investigating. Among the Mutant Academy, children are the most numerous, and they naturally cannot allow any hidden dangers. Just didn't think of it. After investigation and investigation, Orlo finally found that the magic wave was in Shu Fu's room. How is this going? Did someone break into the Mutant Academy? Orlo's heart sank. Don't look at Mutant Academy as if it is in a very remote place, untouched by the world. But in the eyes of caring people, this is a treasure. There are not only mutants with various magical abilities, but also advanced technologies underneath. In this world, Many technologies are researched based on mutant's ability, and many people covet mutant. This was the first thing Warlow thought of. However, she immediately dismissed the idea. Professor X's psychic ability is so powerful that no one can break into it while he's in the academy. Then what the hell happened? Orlo was very puzzled and felt very heavy. Recently, mutant academy has been really troubled, and everything has come to him. Forget it, let's ask Shu Fu. Shu Fu is not weak at all, it shouldn't be unnoticed. Orlo thought in her heart. In fact, if you just look at the physical body, Shu Fu's physical strength is probably the strongest in Mutant Academy. Even Magneto was defeated by him. Although the strength shown by Magneto before was not as strong as before, Shu Fu's strength is still very amazing. He must know something. Thinking of this, Orlo came out of the Academy and found Shu Fu who was fishing in the lake. Teacher Orlo, why are you here? Are you coming to fish too? This is my nest. If you want to fish, change the place. This matter is not negotiable. Shu Fu looked at Orlo with vigilance. Seeing Shu Fu's expression, Orlo couldn't laugh or cry. What kind of fish does she catch when she has nothing to do? Only Shu Fu can have this kind of hobby, and he is about to go crazy. You misunderstood. I'm here to ask some questions. Orlo quickly waved her hands. Then you can ask. When Shu Fu heard that they were not here for fishing, he relaxed and asked lazily. Orlo couldn't laugh or cry. It's like this, I feel the magic wave in your room. What happened? If someone does show up, you can tell us and the academy will help. You don't have to carry it yourself. Orlo said in a gentle voice. When Shu Fu heard this, his expression was a little strange. Did this person misunderstand something? Although he was very moved, but these people were too nervous, did they regard him as a foreign invasion? Thinking about the situation of mutant outside, Shu Fu also felt that he could understand, so he decided to tell the truth. At Mutant Academy, it doesn't make sense to gloss over that. With Professor X, there are no bad guys. In front of this spiritual ability, no one can hide. Teacher Orlo, you may have misunderstood. You may not know, but I actually have a little bit of magic. Those mysterious fluctuations you feel may be emitted by my release of magic. Shu Fu explained seriously. What? Can you still do magic? Orlo was dumbfounded. How could Shu Fu know magic? 
Magic and mutant abilities can be different. Mutant's ability is innate, but magician needs to learn. It is impossible to master magic without systematic study. How can Shu Fu be magical? You, a salted fish who fish here every day, how did you learn magic? Orlo's expression was very strange, as if she saw something incredible. How did you learn magic? Wouldn't it be the kind of magic that requires sacrifice? Orlo comforted herself in her heart, then frowned and spoke again. Do not worry, all I study is serious magic. Shu Fu patted his chest and said. Seeing Shu Fu like that, Orlo, who was not worried at first, became a little uncertain. The Marvel Universe is a very mysterious world. In this world, gods are not just legends, but real ones. Leaving aside those unspeakable existences above the multi-universe. Even in the universe, there are guys who claim to be gods everywhere. Like Odin in Asgard, Zeus in the universe, Kongsu, the god of moonlight in the desert, these are the existences that often appear. Beyond the earth, there are also primitive gods on other planets. Many civilizations have their own gods. Although they are named after gods, most of them are just creatures with powerful powers, not the so-called omniscient and omnipotent true gods. Because of this, these so-called gods are naturally good and bad. There are some evil beings, but they are not so easy to get along with. Orlo knew that among the mutants, there was a powerful existence called Juggernaut. He has always been called the mutant. But Orlo knows his details, this guy is not a mutant at all, but an agent of some evil existence in the world, spreading his reputation for him. Juggernaut is just a title, as long as you have obtained the power of that person, you can be called Juggernaut. It does seem to have gained great power, but after death, the soul is not safe. Orlo was afraid that Shu Fu would be bewitched by some evil god without knowing the severity. In some special way, magic is mastered, especially black magic. It seems that he has gained great power, but he actually sold his soul. Shu Fu, you have to know that in this world, there are many forces that cannot be touched. It may look strong in a short period of time, but it will pay an extremely heavy price later. Aurora said worriedly, seeing the expression on Orlo's face, Shu Fu smiled directly. Do not worry, forget it, let me show you, otherwise you will never be at ease. Shu Fu couldn't help shaking his head. As soon as the words fell, Shu Fu stretched out his hand and swiped. Golden sparks appeared directly out of thin air, and the golden sparks that continuously circled formed a portal. This is, Kamar Taj magic. Orlo gasped. Don't look at Orlo, who was miserable when she was young, and was a gangster on the street. But her ancestors were also rich. For many things, their family history has records. In addition, in the X-Men in the past few years, he has been constantly on missions and dealing with various things. There is also an understanding of the Earth. Kamar Taj, a mysterious and powerful magical force, may be able to hide it from others, but it cannot be hidden from her. But it was precisely because of this that Orlu was shocked. Kamar Taj's magic has never been rumored, how did Shu Fu learn it? Taking a deep breath, Orlu calmed down. How did you learn it? Do you know that this matter is very serious? Orlo said with a very serious face. Seeing Orlo's expression, Shu Fu couldn't help shaking his head. Kamar Taj is so mysterious that even Storm doesn't know much about it. In fact, he felt that Mutant didn't seem to understand anything very deeply. They have already tried their best to deal with the discrimination of ordinary people, and it is very normal to have this kind of reaction. Don't worry, Teacher Orlo, it's fine. You can understand that this is our family heritage. Shu Fu knew that Kamar Taj would not care about such things. In fact, Kamar Taj's outcasts have done much more outrageous things than him. Later, after Wang became the Sorcerer Supreme, he even asked the female Hulk to act as a lawyer for himself, to sue Kamar Taj for abandoning his disciples, and sued him for using magic indiscriminately. Very outrageous, Shu Fu is just learning by himself, Kamar Taj doesn't care at all, Orlo is just nervous. In order to comfort her emotions, Shu Fu told a white lie. Seeing Orlo's disbelief, Shu Fu spoke again. Believe it or not, our family was very powerful in ancient times. A lot of magic is passed down from ancient times. This is something my deceased grandfather gave me, just rest assured. Shu Fu didn't even need to type a draft when he told nonsense, and his face didn't turn red. 
Speaking of nonsense, it is convincing. Seeing that he didn't seem to be lying, Orlo nodded. That's fine, but you'd better not use this magic in front of others, it's not good for you. Also, follow me to meet the professor and listen to his opinion. Orlo resumed her usual look and said to Shu Fu. Shu Fu was helpless. At this very moment, no fish was hooked, so Shu Fu had no choice but to follow Storm, which was also an explanation to Professor X. In case he smokes other things in the future, this group of people will be surprised. As soon as he stretched out his hand, another portal was opened. You please. Shu Fu made a very gentlemanly move. Orlo gave him an angry look, and walked in first, followed by Shu Fu. The two entered the academy, and soon found Professor X who had just finished class. So Orlo told Professor X the truth about Shu Fu's mastery of magic. Professor X glanced at Shu Fu in surprise, and said slowly. I do feel a strange power. I thought some mischievous little guy was using the ability. I didn't expect you to be using magic. It's really beyond my expectation. Although what he said was unexpected, Professor X did not appear to be unexpected, and his tone was very flat. What do you think of the matter? Orlo said with a worried face. She knows magic, so she is in awe of Kamar Taj, and is afraid that Shu Fu will get into trouble. Ololo, everyone has their own secret. We don't need to explore the truth behind these secrets. As long as you don't harbor ill intentions toward us, the Academy will provide shelter. Is it right? Professor X looked at Shu Fu with a smile. Shu Fu nodded in admiration. As expected of the leader of Mutant Academy, the pillar of Mutant, he is indeed reliable. Look at others, what is the pattern? This is wisdom. No one likes a psychic who likes to probe other people's minds. It is because individuals attach great importance to the privacy of their hearts, and no one wants others to know their hearts. Professor X knows this and is very tolerant of it. What can Shu Fu say? I can only like it. The professor is right. Don't worry, I won't cause any trouble to the academy. If there is such a day, I will leave here by myself. Don't worry, Shu Fu said. That's not what I mean, I'm afraid of causing you trouble. Orlo explained. Shu Fu smiled and said nothing. It is precisely because of this that he will make such a promise. Otherwise, I will definitely not leave. Professor X is a very generous elder. After learning that Shu Fu has mastered magic, he didn't say much except for the initial shock. Instead, it gave Shu Fu great freedom and officially exempted Shu Fu from his courses. According to the professor's words, the reason why they teach mutant children is just to let them know the world better and live in it. After mastering many skills, their ability to survive in society will greatly increase. Shu Fu is smarter than the devil. Learning these things is completely useless. Shu Fu can skip class openly. This made Shu Fu lose that feeling a bit. As we all know, if you skip class when you have class, it will be very exciting, but when you don't have class, you will feel uncomfortable. Fortunately, Shu Fu is not a hypocritical person, not so pretentious. The next day, he happily came to the pond behind Mutant College with his fishing rod on his back. The weather is good today, so it's time for me to make a big deal. Shu Fu looked at the weather, looked at the feng shui around him, rubbed his chin and thought. As we all know, fishermen can do everything except fishing. It's not impossible to look at feng shui or something. Shu Fu felt that he would definitely gain something today. Make nests, lay guards, and have a sense of ritual. At this time, he just washed his hands, stretched out his hand and threw the fishing rod out, and then waited expectantly. Ding. Sign in successfully, get spirit plus twelve. Shu Fu's eyes lit up. He was right, he was very lucky today. Definitely something to gain. Thinking of this, Shu Fu waited patiently. As we all know, fishing is a very patient thing. Sometimes if you fish for a day, you may not get anything, all you need is to wait patiently. Shu Fu waited here for more than an hour. Only then did I feel the fishing rod in my hand move. Waves appeared constantly in the water, and Shu Fu could even feel the rapid shaking of the fishing rod he was holding. As if the bottom of the water is not a fish, but a whale. The fishing line collapsed straight, as if a terrifying force was constantly pulling it. If it wasn't for Shu Fu now possessing the power of Superman's body, maybe he couldn't control the fishing rod at all, so he just let go. Okay, the more vigorous the better. 
This shows that rewards are definitely a good thing. Shu Fu's eyes kept shining. Shu Fu constantly wrestled with the things in the water, constantly draining his strength. If it were him before, he would definitely not be able to do this. Only now, he is completely different. With the body of Superman, he is extremely powerful, his physical strength is even more endless, and he hardly gets tired. He could wrestle with this thing all day. The pool kept churning, as if something huge was constantly moving, Shu Fu tried his best to consume the power of the thing in the water. What the hell is this? It wasn't so difficult to catch the blood of Superman back then. Shu Fu couldn't figure it out. What the hell is this? It's so powerful. Could it be some perverted thing? Shu Fu was a little excited, and he manipulated the arms of the fishing rod to become more powerful. I don't believe it, it's just a fish. Compete with me. Shu Fu immediately snapped. The muscles in his arms bulged, and all the strength in his body was used by him. Get up. Shu Fu roared, and the power in his body suddenly exploded. In an instant, the amazing power belonging to Superman was erupted by him. Crash! There was a splashing sound in the water. A purple, crystal-like carp was fished out of the water by him. Purple! Shu Fu's eyes lit up. Good stuff! As soon as he stretched out his hand, he caught the purple carp in his hand. Sealed Green Lantern Ring The Sealed Green Light Ring this is a powerful artifact from the origin of the universe in the 600th world with incredible power, but the green light ring has self-will, and only recognized people can use his true power. The host catches fish and will gradually unlock the power of the green light ring. The green light ring, it turned out to be this thing. Shu Fu was startled, and then very pleasantly surprised. There are no fewer powerful things in the DC universe than in the Marvel universe. The Ring of Lights is one of the most powerful powers among them, and the most famous of them is naturally the Green Lantern who masters the Green Light. As long as there is enough will, the Green Lantern with the Green Lantern Ring can call himself a god. Can do anything. It is no exaggeration to say that Green Lantern at his peak was no weaker than Jin Chao. Also one of the top powers in the 600th world. If the Green Lantern Ring had no will of its own like Superman's body, it would definitely be a gold-tier item. Now this thing is self-sealed, Shu Fu can only use a certain amount of power, and then slowly upgrade the system to unlock it. But think about it, this is also normal. The Green Lantern Ring is a very unique existence, a power with self-will. With his current will, the power of using the Green Light Ring is absolutely astonishing. Superman originally has good willpower, but it's not great, that is, beyond the level of ordinary people. Superman's will is absolutely inferior to Batman. But, he doesn't just have the Superman body. He also has the Joker mind network. Joker, Batman's lifelong enemy, is definitely one of the most powerful humans in the 600th world. Compared to the powerful Green Lantern Hal Jordan may be a little weaker, but definitely not to be underestimated. Pair it with a green light ring. It's unimaginable how powerful it can be. But this green lantern doesn't have a lantern, so it's not serious. Shu Fu put the green ring on his finger with great care, and muttered to himself. Never mind him, as long as he can use it. Maybe it's because of the system, it doesn't look good anyway. Shu Fu shook his head. Shu Fu has always suspected that the reason why the green lantern movie he watched in his previous life hit the market was because it was too ugly and did not conform to domestic aesthetics at all. It's okay if it's green, and the shape is not handsome, who likes it? Fortunately, the most amazing thing about Green Lantern is that it can change according to people's will, even as long as your imagination and willpower are enough. In theory anything can be created. With a thought of Shu Fu, the green ring was shape-shifted. It was originally just a silly big black thick ring inlaid with a green gemstone. Under his idea, it changed into a popular metal ring on the earth, which exudes green fluorescence and looks very mysterious. The day is bright and the night is vast. Spirits and demons, there is nothing to hide from. Evil villains and gangsters, fear my divine light. The green light is always bright, eternal light. Shu Fu recited the oath of the green lantern ring. In an instant, green light bloomed, like a green sun. The green light is always bright, shining forever. Naturally, the Green Lantern Corps has the ability to dare to release such a slogan. In fact, the Green Light Ring is just that awesome. His history can be traced back to the beginning of the universe. 
Even in the Marvel world, it can still exert amazing power. In addition, Shu Fu's willpower is not weak at all, and the green light ring is naturally powerful. Even the self-sealed green light ring is surprisingly powerful. Under his manipulation, that green light is constantly shapeshifting in his hand. Weapons such as knives, guns, swords and halberds change constantly, and after changing, they are magic weapons, and metals can be easily cut. Not even the extraordinary fishing rod with the power of the system can resist this power. Tisk tisk. Awesome. No, it should be said that I am powerful. Only with enough willpower can I exert a strong enough power. Shu Fu thought happily. Try something else. Shu Fu thought. Just a traditional weapon, it seems to be a bit of an insult to the green light ring. The green light changed in his hand, and in the blink of an eye, it turned into an AK. Shu Fu pulled the trigger, and the green bullet was fired at high speed. The green bullets shot directly at the hills in the distance. Boom, half of the hill that was more than 100 meters high was directly blown away. Is this a gun? It's scarier than a missile. It is indeed a green light ring that relies on willpower and imagination to exert its fighting power. The system is awesome. Shu Fu was a little excited. Although the gun is useless to the strong, he is handsome. It's a man's romance. This is the same as the mecha, which is actually useless. When it comes to fighting, it is much more useful than the mecha. But what a handsome mecha. Shu Fu feels that the changes to firearms will always be included in his change list in the future. Anyway, the power of this thing is related to his willpower and has nothing to do with other things. With his willpower, he is still very strong. That's how willful it is. It's time to try other functions too. Shu Fu's eyes gleamed. The green light ring does not only have this simple function, it can be said to be omnipotent. If you can think of it, green light can do it. He's now going to try out the ability he's always wanted. Flight. Since ancient times, human beings have longed for the sky. Various flight devices are the ultimate human experience of this yearning. Superman originally had flight's ability, but Shu Fu hasn't unlocked it yet. Unexpectedly, with the green light ring in advance, he could try flight. You know, flight is not only handsome and coquettish, but also extremely useful in battle, and he will play to death directly when he meets a flightless one. The green ring in Shu Fu's hand directly spread and wrapped around his body, and he only felt a mysterious force spreading. Brush, Shu Fu soared straight into the sky, and Shu Fu didn't stop until he reached a height of tens of meters. Looking at the shrinking ground, Shu Fu even felt a little dizzy. After getting used to it for a while, he got used to his flight's ability, and started to circle around in the sky, flight. Draw an S in the sky for a while, draw a B for a while, have a good time. No one can resist this temptation. After playing for more than 10 minutes, Shu Fu still couldn't get enough of it. Now it's time to try the limit speed. I don't know how far it can go. Shu Fu's eyes became serious, and he flew directly to the sky of 100 meters. Snapped. A sonic boom sound suddenly exploded. Shu Fu streaked across the sky, directly leaving a white trace in the sky. It was because his speed was too fast, causing the air to change a little. After flying tens of thousands of meters, Shu Fu stopped. So fast. It can break through the speed of sound in an instant. This speed is much better than ordinary aircraft, but I don't know how it compares to fighter jets. Shu Fu did not time accurately and could not calculate his own speed. Anyway, being able to break through the factor is enough for him now. The green light ring is really a panacea, it can do anything. Amazing, Shu Fu couldn't help sighing excitedly. Compared with the pure power of Superman's body, the green light ring has many more effects and is very versatile. Let's not talk about the green light ring, let's try to stimulate Superman's ability first. Superman originally was able to fly too, and is faster than Green Lantern. Shu Fu thought in his heart. Superman's flight ability is terrifying, even the weakest ordinary Bronze Age can reach Mach 10, which is 10 times the speed of sound. Much stronger than the fastest fighter. Shu Fu's heart swelled, and the power of the green light was immediately dissipated. Immediately, his body couldn't maintain its shape, and fell rapidly like a cannonball. Shu Fu could even feel the whistling wind around his body. As he fell constantly, his body finally had an instinctive reaction. A strange feeling roared out, as if a strange force appeared around him. 
Shu Fu could feel that it wasn't any other force but a magnetic field. The magnetic field on the earth, the magnetic field of various stars. A wonderful force emanated from his body, which counteracted the gravitational pull of the earth on him. Such an abrupt Shu Fu stopped directly in midair, and the inertia had no effect on his powerful body at all. I learned to fly so easily. Superman is really a pervert. Shu Fu was amazed. He is flying now, just like breathing and eating, it seems to be an instinct, compared with the sense of manipulation of the green light. This kind of flight is more free, comfortable, and more comfortable, as if lying in the arms of a mother. Shu Fu can only sigh with emotion, Superman deserves to be the son of DC. Impressive. Swish. Shu Fu's figure flashed across the sky, leaving only a white trace. Not long after, he appeared on his fishing spot again. Twice as fast as the green light, worthy of the body of Superman. Awesome. Shu Fu can only use these two words to describe this incredible power. Excited to start researching, but he didn't know how much his playing in the sky touched the mutants of the Mutant Academy. Are you really not mistaken? Is that a person in the sky? The generous Scott, the captain of the X-Men, spoke to his girlfriend Jean. I have the ability of the mind, so it is naturally impossible to read it wrong. Chin Bai said with a glance. But the speed of that thing just now has reached an astonishing Mach 5. None of the fastest fighter jets on Earth have this speed. The Academy's fighter jets only have a top speed of Mach 3. You said it was a human. Scott had a look of disbelief on his face. Alone, faster than a fighter jet. Isn't this a joke? It's not just a person, you also know each other. That's Shu Fu, Chin said with a strange face. What? Scott was startled. What kind of mutant is this child Shu Fu? It's fine to master so many abilities. He can fly. God loves this child so much. Host. Shu Fu. Age. 17. Strength. Tier 1. Physique. 60. Spirit. 59. Energy. 60. Fish Pond. Artificial Lake. Items. Vix Fishing Rod, Extraordinary Fishing Rod, X Gene Inhibitor, Sealed Green Light Ring, One Layer. Skills. Superman Body, Bronze Stage, Joker Mind Network, Dimension Ascension Level 1, Portal, Planet Level, Freezing Breath, Flight. A blue light curtain appeared in Shu Fu's vision. Shu Fu has a panoramic view of his current data. Shu Fu is very satisfied with the abilities he has mastered. With his constantly working hard, he has begun to slowly master the ability that belongs to Superman. With this kind of strength, Shu Fu finally has a sense of security. As long as you don't run into a lunatic like Thanos, there shouldn't be any security issues. There are many strong people on Earth, and generally speaking, they wouldn't attack me. Joining the mutant force is also a good thing. Shu Fu thought in his heart. There are many strong people on the Earth, gods and evil gods in various ancient legends, and some strange existences, which are very chaotic. Fortunately, mutant is not vegetarian. Not to mention the most hidden Phoenix piano, the Professor X alone is a big killer. Combined with a mind amplifier, he can even be said to be one of the strongest on Earth. Speaking of it, it's a bit strange. Magneto didn't seem that strong when he played against me. Thinking of this, Shu Fu stroked his chin. Superman is very strong, and Jin Chao can transcend dimensions, which is not the slightest bit compared to Wanchi Wang Chang. But Shu Fu has just developed into the Bronze Age, so naturally it is impossible to have that kind of terrifying power. Logically speaking, he shouldn't be able to beat Magneto. Under the blessing of Apocalypse, the existence that almost destroyed the Earth, although in normal state, Magneto is far from that strong. But it definitely shouldn't be the kind of strength that dreams show. Shu Fu guessed that Magneto's strength should have been weakened in some way. According to the movies he used to watch, Presumably, Magneto used the kind of machine that can inject mutant genes into human bodies. The effect of this machine is incredible, but it also consumes a lot of vitality. Presumably, Magneto became weak because of using this machine, which gave Shufu an opportunity to take advantage of it. It's just bad luck for you. Who told you to be dishonest and always want to make trouble? Shu Fu happily hummed a ditty, and carrying a fishing rod, she came to the small lake behind the college. Slumped on a chair, Shu Fu was ready to fish. Ding. Failed to sign in, the fish pond has been refreshed. 
The mechanical sound of the system rang in Shu Fu's ears, and Shu Fu's face froze. Failed to sign in, he quickly checked the information of the system, and he was really relieved. It's not that there is a problem with the system, but the system's fish pond has been refreshed. He was able to catch all kinds of incredible items from the fish pond, not because the lake behind Mutant Academy is really so awesome. It was because the system was awesome, and the system refreshed the system fish pond here, so he was able to catch these incredible treasures. The location of the system pond is now refreshed. He fished from here and naturally failed to sign in. Let me see where the system pond is refreshed. Shu Fu checks the location of the coordinates given by the system through his mobile phone. This location is actually in New York. Isn't this the famous Central Park? Shu Fu checked the coordinates carefully against the map and confirmed that the fish ponds of the system were located in Central Park. This very prosperous city, a park with a lot of traffic. However, New York's urban greening is very good, with a large area and few people, so it will naturally not be as crowded as domestic scenic spots. He would have no trouble going fishing. Now that it's confirmed, let's go, we can't waste time here. Shu Fu quickly packed his things and stuffed them directly into the system space. Go and say goodbye to Professor X first, so that they don't think I'm missing, and avoid trouble. Shu Fu muttered to himself. Now that you have accepted someone else's protection, you should be more sensible. Shu Fu is not shameless enough to leave without saying goodbye, let alone, he will come back in the future. Without further ado, Shu Fu flew directly to Professor X's office. Professor X has no class today and is reading a book in the study. He was a little surprised to see Shu Fu coming. Is something wrong, kid? You didn't come to chat with me, an old man, did you? Professor X asked. It's such a professor, I'm going to New York for a while. I'm not sure about the time, it may be a few days, or it may be a month or two. Shu Fu said. He is in New York, and he will definitely stay until the system's fish pond is refreshed again. I don't know how long it will take so he will say hello to Professor X first. Hearing this, the professor put down the book and became serious. You're going to New York. Have you encountered any difficulties? If you need help, let us know. X-Men will help every child in need. Charles spoke rather seriously. I'm going fishing. Shu Fu also spoke seriously. Nowadays, this is not only his hobby, but also a way for him to become stronger. Is there anything more important than this? Charles, is there something wrong with this kid? Shu Fu ran over to look for him so seriously, he thought something big had happened. After all, Shu Fu was the man who defeated Magneto. This kind of strong man is considered strong on earth. Charles subconsciously put Shu Fu in the same position as himself. Who would have thought? Shu Fu is so unreliable. Just go fishing, what do you want to tell him? Still so serious, sighing inwardly, Charles spoke. Since you want to go, go. But you have to pay attention, the outside world is not friendly to us mutant. You'd better not expose your ability outside, it will bring you unnecessary trouble. Charles spoke very carefully. I see. Don't worry, I will protect myself. Shu Fu said rightly. I believe that with your ability, there will be no danger. Although New York is prosperous, the more prosperous it is, the more dangerous it is. If you are in trouble, you can ask this person for help. Also, this is the key to my property in New York. If you are in New York, you can live there. Charles opened the drawer and took out a business card and a bunch of keys. Thank you, Professor. Shu Fu said something very seriously. One thing to say, Charles was really nice to him. Send someone to send room. The biological parents, I am afraid, can only be like this. Keeping this friendship in mind, Shu Fu put away the key. After greeting Charles, Shu Fu turned and left. The location of Mutant Academy is not conspicuous. Even in order to avoid hostility and discovery by ordinary people, the location of Mutant Academy can be said to be very remote. Only some large forces know about this remote place called Krakow. This remote place is naturally not a short distance from New York. Luckily, Shu Fu doesn't need traditional transportation. Throwing the organized daily necessities into his own system, Shu Fu will immediately soar into the sky. When he reached the sky nearly 1,000 meters away, Shu Fu recognized his direction and rushed directly towards New York. Snapped, a huge sonic boom sounded, 
leaving a white trace in the air. Shu Fu is constantly flying in the sky at a speed several times faster than the speed of sound. His speed is even faster than the most advanced fighter jets in the world. It took Shu Fu just over a minute to travel from Krakow to New York. To know, Krakow is more than 400 kilometers away from New York, an international metropolis. It took Shu Fu just over a minute to cross such a long distance, which shows how amazing his speed is. To give a more vivid example, it takes Shu Fu one minute to travel from Beijing to Hohat. This speed can simply be described by the word horror. But, ordinary people don't know that it is Shu Fu who is flying in the sky. Seeing the white traces in the sky, they all think it is a fighter jet flying by. Shu Fu doesn't care about these. He found an unmonitored corner and fell from the sky. After taking a taxi, he went to the house that Professor X left him. It wasn't that Shu Fu didn't want to fly over directly, but the situation didn't allow it. The old man Charles is very rich. The big villas I bought are all in Manhattan, New York. As we all know, this is the most famous rich area in New York. Based on the national conditions of the beautiful country, the security and the density of cameras in the rich area are very amazing. Shu Fu didn't want to be fishing in Central Park, and the Shield Gang came to his door and made trouble for him. Therefore, he chose a corner very low-key, and took a taxi to the villa area. It's just that he absolutely couldn't think of it. Even though he was so careful, he was discovered. All this is because Shu Fu underestimated the technological level of Marvel. Different from reality, in the Marvel world, not only various mysterious forces are extremely developed, but also the level of technology is very high. There is no difference between the top-level technological creation, which can even erase the entire Marvel world, and the terrifying existence that gathers great power on itself. The Earth is only a very remote corner in the universe, but the level of science and technology is also very advanced. Especially S.H.I.E.L.D., because it deals with people with super abilities and aliens, it has an astonishing amount of black technology. And the Delta Wing headquarters of S.H.I.E.L.D. is in the beautiful capital not far from New York. For her lair, S.H.I.E.L.D. is naturally very concerned. Both Washington and New York have S.H.I.E.L.D.'s very strict space surveillance system and sophisticated radar. One is to prevent terrorist attacks, and the other is to detect super crimes. The completion of this thing actually has something to do with Tony Stark. S.H.I.E.L.D. created this system because of Tony Stark's lawlessness, and the planes couldn't take off in New York at that time. Tony Stark also provided some technical support. Naturally, S.H.I.E.L.D. will not widely declare this kind of thing, and Shu Fu naturally does not know about it. As he swaggered over New York, he was naturally monitored by S.H.I.E.L.D. Sir, I feel like we're in trouble. Hill, a high-level agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., walked into Nick Fury's office with a document. Mazefak, I'm already overwhelmed, why isn't there any good news? Tell me what the hell is going on. Nick Fury had no expression on his black face, but from the tone of his voice, one could tell that he must be very upset right now. A few minutes ago, our motion monitoring device detected a flight object at an alarming speed. The flight stopped near New York. Hill handed the file over. Nick Fury's eyes widened immediately when he saw the document. Mach 6.4, is it a secret experiment by the guys in the military, or is that fool Tony Stark breaking the rules again? When Nick Fury saw this book, his already dark face became even darker. What is the concept of Mach 5? It only takes a few minutes to traverse the entire beautiful country. Even SHIELD's most advanced fighter is only a little over Mach 4. This is the result of their reverse engineering of alien technology. What is it that can fly so fast? I'm afraid neither, sir. According to our satellite detection, it is a person. And it's not Tony Stark at all, or his armor of steel. A guy who flies out of thin air. Hill handed over the satellite photos in his hand again. Above is a blurry figure. Although it is very blurry, it can be seen that this is indeed a human being in casual clothes. Maze fact. Is this still a human? Nick Fury couldn't help but swear. It is really hard for him to imagine how humans can reach this speed. With a human body, such a high-speed flight would have already turned into a lump of meat, but this guy is still fine. Can humans really be so perverted? Could it be that mutant? Various thoughts flashed through Nick Fury's mind, but they were finally suppressed in his heart. There are more and more weird things recently. 
There is also bad news from the laboratory. I'm going to have a look at it at night. Here's another Superman popping up. What's wrong with the world? Facing his most trusted subordinate, Nick Fury couldn't help but say a few more words. Hill was left speechless. She was just an agent. How did he know? Nick Fury also knows that complaining is useless, and he is not the character. It's just that there are too many things recently, and he is also a little stressed. Temporarily archived, codenamed Superman. Send out a small team to investigate. Before determining the danger of this guy, we don't have a lot of energy to waste on these things. We have more important things to deal with. In the evening, you go to the energy base with me. There is something wrong there. Nick Fury hastily explained. Hill nodded, picked up the file and turned to leave. When Hill left, Nick Fury's office was plunged into darkness. Nick Fury sighed. The whole person was hidden in the darkness, without showing any trace at all. Unbeknownst to Shu Fu, he walked around in the sky and caused huge amounts of psychological shadow on S.H.I.E.L.D. At the moment he has lived in Charles's villa. Charles looked like a poor old man. But actually very rich. This high-end villa in Manhattan has a total area of nearly 400 square meters. There is even a swimming pool in the yard. Shu Fu really enjoyed the degenerate life of capital, it was really sugar-coated, too beautiful to behold. Shu Fu was almost immersed in it. Fortunately, he had strong self-control, so after a day's delay, he walked out of the villa and grabbed his fishing rod again. Picking up his fishing gear, Shu Fu strolled straight to Central Park. The beautiful country is sparsely populated, and the urban greening is outstanding. The Central Park is not small, and there are naturally many artificial lakes and rivers in it. There are also many people fishing here. Fishing in the beautiful country is still very troublesome. Not only do you need a qualification certificate, but you also need to pay attention to the area and time. Especially in a big city like New York, there are many rules. Most people don't come to such a crappy place even for fishing. Because of this, the people fishing here are not ordinary people, or in other words, they don't care about these things. Shu Fu is naturally one of them. Relying on the mobile phone to confirm the location, put down my equipment, and directly start feeding fish to nest. Although this nesting may not be of much use to the things refreshed by the system, the sense of ritual is the most important. After Shu Fu had done everything, he pulled out his fishing rod and flicked it. The fishing rod was thrown out directly. Ding. Sign in successfully. Get extraordinary bait. Extraordinary bait. A bait with magical power, which can increase the probability of catching precious items. Um, good stuff. Shu Fu's eyes lit up. Even in the fish ponds created by the system, the probability of catching something is not 100%. After coming to Mutant Academy, it was his most time in the Air Force. In this case, this kind of bait is very important. Shu Fu put on this bait called Chaofan bait directly with a little expectation. Although he didn't see anything unusual about this bait, since the system described it like this, it must be useful. Put the bait and get off the fishing rod. Shu Fu began to wait slowly. Within a few minutes, the fishing rod in his hand started to move. Is it really useful? Shu Fu's eyes lit up again. He really didn't expect that this so-called extraordinary bait was so effective, and he caught fish so quickly. It's just that the reaction is not very intense. Isn't it a good thing? Shu Fu frowned. According to his experience, the more intense the underwater resistance, the better the things that come up, and the higher the level. This time, however, he felt that the underwater resistance was not very intense. This made Shu Fu a little suspicious of what level the things inside were. Come up and get you. Shu Fu felt that the spaceship's resistance was not fierce, so naturally he didn't have the will to fight wits and courage, and used all his strength directly. In front of his enormous strength, the fish in the water didn't last long and was directly pulled up by him. It turned out to be purple. It was really unexpected. Shu Fu's eyes lit up. Feeling this kind of power, he thought it was only a blue thing, but he didn't expect it to be a purple thing. Not bad. A wave. The purple swimming fish landed directly in his hand, then turned into a ray of light and disappeared into his body. Krypton Tombstone Krypton Tombstone When a civilization is on the verge of destruction, inheritance is the instinct of most intelligent creatures. The insightful people of Krypton stored the civilization and knowledge of Krypton in a spaceship and launched it into the universe. 
It turned out to be something like this. Shu Fu's complexion was a bit complicated. Unexpectedly, he, the one who obtained the power of Superman, also obtained the inheritance of Krypton. But it's normal to think about it. With so many people on Krypton, it is impossible that only Superman's father is a normal person who wants to pass on his civilization. Among Krypton, it is normal to have people of insight. It's a pity that although the Kryptonian civilization has developed for 100,000 years and is very powerful, it has also decayed and ancient like all regimes, and the class is very solidified. Obviously, this Kryptonian who preserved civilization did not save his compatriots, but just passed down Kryptonian technology and culture. But, this thing is still very useful to Shu Fu. This is the last legacy of Kryptonian civilization. In his system lies the most top scientific research ship on Krypton. Compared to Superman's father launching Superman's small ship, I don't know where Gao Ming went. Kryptonian technology, very strong. Shu Fu's eyes couldn't help but shine. Krypton's technology is definitely not as powerful as Superman, but it is definitely not weak. In the single universe, it is completely possible to dominate. At its peak, the Kryptonian Empire even attempted to conquer the entire universe. A warship could destroy an ordinary civilization. Simply unscrupulous, directly became the public enemy of the universe. Only, the number of DC Universe bosses is also very large. The Kryptonians were finally defeated by the unreasonable Oa Galaxy Asgardian, that is, the Green Lantern Gang. It also gave the Kryptonians a mental seal, so that they can only live on Krypton. In addition, the Kryptonians killed themselves and created the Code of Life, and Krypton was destroyed like this. Even so, the power of Kryptonian technology cannot be denied. They not only have outstanding interstellar navigation technology, but also master the technology of super space travel, copying human organs, cloning, transmitting three-dimensional images, freezing time and space, and using crystals as carriers to store technology. These technologies, which seem incredible to people on Earth, are just commonplace on Krypton. Shu Fu feels that in the Marvel Universe, the three empires combined may not be enough for one Kryptonian to fight. It is a pity that without a formed industrial system, it is impossible for Shu Fu to restore the invincible star fleet of the Kryptonians. But, this does not mean that these things are useless to Shu Fu. On the contrary, these technologies are very useful to Shu Fu. It can help him better understand the Kryptonians and allow him to master his ability faster. Maybe he first built himself a handsome battle suit and put it on. Otherwise, when fighting, I really can't afford to be hurt. Ordinary clothes can't withstand the high-intensity battle of his physique. It's not for nothing that Thor has to transform before every fight. The last time I fought against Magneto, if he hadn't controlled it in time, he might have run naked on the spot. Shu Fu has been terrified. Now he finally has a solution. In Nick Fury's view, the Earth has really been troubled recently. First, in a small town in the state of Mexico, an alien prince fell from the sky, and the battle almost destroyed the entire town. Now there is Superman swaggering and flying in the sky, the speed is extremely fast. There was also a problem with the base of his own weapon research, which really made Nick Fury a little bit battered. Nick Fury believes that the so-called axioms and justice only exist within the range of the cannon. In the face of powerful aliens, without enough military support, you can only become someone else's slave. So he spent huge amounts of funds and restarted the weaponization research on Tesseract. The laboratory was rebuilt at a depth of several hundred meters underground. It's just that I didn't expect that something went wrong in this most rigorous laboratory. Taking Hill with him, he went all the way to the laboratory and met the person in charge, Dr. Selvig. Doctor, what happened here? Sir, the cosmic magic has activated by itself. Dr. Selvig introduced to Nick Fury. How can it start by itself? Nick Fury frowned and couldn't help but speak. I don't know. Cosmic magic has many magical places, and we have no way of detecting it. Selvig also sighed, and took Nick Fury to the side of Shield's machine. The energy readings above are off the charts. The tesseract in the middle also began to emit blue light, as if it was about to explode. Nick Fury's face changed at that moment. Cut off the energy source. Immediately. Nick Fury shouted, We can't do it, tesseract itself is originally a powerful energy source. 
Selvig also yelled and began to operate in the machine. It's a pity that his manipulation was of no use. In the cosmic magic, the blue light became brighter and brighter, as if it contained extreme energy. Finally, Tesseract's energy suddenly reached a peak. Hum, huge amounts of blue light made a buzzing sound, and the dazzling blue light burst out, accompanied by huge amounts of shockwave. Dr. Selvig was immediately sent flying by the shockwave, as were several agents around him. When the light dissipated, everyone saw that in the center, a man with long hair and strange clothes had appeared. Sir, put down your spear, Nick Fury said directly in a deep voice. The man who came out of the portal, Loki, didn't give Nick Fury time to react. Glancing at the spear emitting blue light in his hand, he pointed straight forward. A blue beam shot out. An agent was blown out directly. The expressions of the remaining agents changed and they fired directly. Clap 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 clap. The ear-piercing gunshots rang out constantly, but the guns had absolutely no effect on the people of Asgard, not even breaking Loki's skin. The blue scepter in Loki's hand kept firing lasers, and in less than a minute, Shield's tactical team was overthrown. Seeing that everyone around him was lying down, Loki, who came out of the portal, regained his composure, and his face became less sick due to the long-distance teleportation. Just as Loki was relaxing, Hawkeye got up from the ground and wanted to attack. It's just that people in Asgard are not human beings, and they are much stronger than normal people in terms of reaction and speed. Loki flashed, reached Hawkeye, grabbed Hawkeye, and controlled him with the psychic scepter. Nick Fury looked dumbfounded, he knew that now was not the time to resist. Quietly remove the cosmic magic from the machine, and prepare to leave quietly with the gems. Too bad he underestimated Loki's keenness. Just as he was about to leave, Loki spoke up. I advise you not to, I still need it. There's no need to make things bigger. Nick Fury turned his head slightly. Definitely necessary. I came from afar just for it. I am Loki, from Asgard. I have come here on an honorable mission. Loki said with a slight smile. Loki, Thor's brother, Selvig stood up and said in surprise. Loki glances at him. Nick Fury said with a thousand turns in his heart. We have nothing to do with you. Just like the ants never mess with the boots. Are you going to trample us to death? Nick Fury's complexion changed. I have brought you the gospel. I'm here to break free for you. Restraint. What restraint? Free. Freedom is the greatest lie. Loki said with a wicked smile. Sir, Director Nick Fury is stalling for time. This place is about to explode. Hawkeye came over and spoke. He's right. The portal is collapsing itself. This place will be destroyed in two minutes. The controlled Selvig also opened his mouth. Barton didn't have hesitation either, he just shot Nick Fury, grabbed the Tesseract, and left. After deceiving Hill, the group drove away. At this time, the entire base also began to shake. The collapse of the portal has also reached its limit. Boom, terrifying energy fluctuations erupted directly. The powerful energy shockwave directly destroyed all the load-bearing structures of the base. This large-scale shield base began to collapse, and the ground within a range of thousands of meters collapsed directly. And Loki took the Tesseract and walked away. For Loki, this was all planned long ago. Compared to S.H.I.E.L.D., which knows nothing about the universe, Loki is at least a cosmic civilization, and there are many things that technology crushes know. He knows both S.H.I.E.L.D. and Avengers very well, and he also controls the high-level agent Barton. Information is naturally not a problem for him. He not only planned the things after snatching Tesseract, he also planned, including how to complete his plan against S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers. Under the leadership of Barton, Loki takes control of a S.H.I.E.L.D. base and begins research on the Tesseract, and determine the required resources and the location to start Tesseract. Stark building, Tony Stark, an arrogant human being. That's interesting, let's play with them. With a sinister smile on his face, Loki started to act. At the same time, S.H.I.E.L.D. led by Nick Fury has not been idle. He began to search and gradually find the already identified members to form the Avengers. The major forces on the Earth are also ready to move. It can be said, because of Loki's arrival, the whole Earth is in a state of restlessness. And Shu Fu didn't know these things. At this moment, he was still immersed in the joy of receiving the Kryptonian legacy. Loki is still very afraid of the members of the Avengers. Loki, 
although arrogant, is also very intelligent, especially when it comes to intrigue. That can be regarded as a heterogeneity of Asgard, compared with the gangsters of Asgard, it is very out of place. Before coming to the Earth, he had already obtained the intelligence on the Earth through the information equipment on the Earth, and made a plan. With the scepter in his hand, he possesses the ability to provoke people's hearts. With his access to the Avengers, he'll be able to get the gang to mess themselves up first. What a naive human being, trying to control a beast in vain. Now it's time for you to eat the bitter fruit. Loki made up his mind. Walking up to Barden, Loki spoke. Let's go. Go to your next goal. Yes, sir. Barden, whose mind was controlled, had a blue light in his eyes. A group of people set off from the secret base to find the items they want. The substance iridium that stabilizes the Rubik's Cube portal. Loki's plan was brilliant. Let Dr. Selvig set up the portal, but he pretended to be captured and entered Shield's space carrier to destroy it, directly destroying the command core. At that time, their winning rate will increase greatly. So at the human gathering, Loki made a swaggering appearance. He first forcibly copied a person's retina and asked Barton to open the vault. Then he went outside and showed up generously. As soon as he appeared, S.H.I.E.L.D. naturally determined his whereabouts. S.H.I.E.L.D. is a behemoth, able to mobilize massive resources, and even mobilize all electronic equipment and cameras on the Earth. Through facial recognition technology, they directly locked Loki's location. Captain America set off with Black Widow. Just when Loki was showing his power in the square and wanted to kill people, Captain America fell directly from the sky. Only, the ability of Captain America is actually growing. Just waking up from freezing, even a commando can fight him 50 to 50, and in the later stage, even resist Thanos' attack. You know, Hulk fell into a coma after being hit by Thanos twice. The strength of Thanos can be imagined. Captain America can withstand his attack. It can be said that he has become stronger. The current him, who just woke up from the freeze, is naturally no match for Loki. Even with the help of Black Widow's spaceship, he is at a disadvantage. Fortunately, at this time, a figure accompanied by BGM descended from the sky. The yellow energy beam directly sent Loki flying. Falling to the ground, the various weapons on his armor reveal themselves, aimed at Loki. Why don't you do it, Bambi? Seeing this situation, Loki directly raised his hands and surrendered. This was originally his plan, and now he naturally followed the trend. Captain America instinctively sensed something was wrong, but Tony Stark, an egomaniac, how could he care about this? The characters in Avengers are all growing up, and they don't become heroes all at once. Especially Tony Stark now, it would not be an exaggeration to say that he is a playboy and a megalomaniac. Normal people can stay with him for three minutes, and they are considered to have a good temper. Captain America's conflict with Tony Stark is not without reason. Captain America was a little skeptical at first, but Tony Stark interrupted him, so he ignored the matter. On the plane, Loki was escorted to the space carrier of S.H.I.E.L.D. On the way, they also met Thor, who wanted to hijack the plane to save people, and even had a fight. Only then did they come together and return to the space carrier of S.H.I.E.L.D. A group of people made such a big commotion. All the forces with some qualifications on the Earth know the news. You must know that even in the beautiful country itself, there are countless forces under S.H.I.E.L.D., let alone the whole world. Loki made such a public appearance, as long as he has a little ability, he will know the news. The world looks calm on the surface, but in fact, there is already an undercurrent raging inside. The average person may not perceive this ever-changing undercurrent, Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D., as an old silver coin. He has a very deep understanding of this. Even with Loki being captured and locked up in the same cage he had prepared for the Hulk, Nick Fury still instinctively felt something was wrong. Neither Hawkeye Barton nor Selvig did show up. Where did these two people go? And Tesseract, Loki ran all the way from Asgard to Earth for this powerful artifact, and now the Tesseract is gone. Could Loki have lost this thing? Thinking with my ass, I also know that it is absolutely impossible. Nick Fury knows the truth of planning for a rainy day. Concentrating all the power under your hands in your own hands is the most secure. After finishing everything, Nick Fury came to his room and made a call. Charles, I need your help. That's right, it was Professor X who he dialed. 
As the most powerful force on Earth, the matter of mutant naturally cannot be hidden from him. However, the mutant group is very exclusive and closed. He couldn't get in either. But, with huge influence, he naturally helped Charles a lot. Like Charles being able to set up a school for the gifted, and he's no less helpful in it. Even X-Men has a certain connection with S.H.I.E.L.D., and Wolverine even worked as a Black Widow fighting teacher. Nick Fury was uneasy, so he naturally focused on the powerful X-Men. Without power, he can only rely on the Avengers. With a way, it is naturally impossible for Nick Fury to put all his eggs in one basket. Charles, who was far away at Mutant Academy, felt a little surprised. But in the face of Nick Fury's request, he couldn't refuse. Fury, I'll send the X-Men to help. That's good, Charles, don't worry, I'll help you block that bill against Mutant. We're all fighting for the planet. Nick Fury is also human. He knew that compared with wasting favors, intercourse of interests was a deeper bond. Thank you, Fury, for being our mutant friend. Charles was thoughtful, and said with a slight smile. Now even a thick-faced and black-hearted guy like Nick Fury can't help but feel a little embarrassed. It's really not good to lie to these honest people all the time. But soon he set his goal again. It's not that he doesn't help others, how can it be called cheating? Hope the worst doesn't happen. Nick Fury looked at the white clouds that were close at hand and muttered to himself. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.